Hi, I'm Kate. Welcome to Rank Math's complete installation and setup tutorial. We are proud to call Rank Math the Swiss Army knife of SEO because it allows you to completely customize your search engine optimization settings. We'll cover all the steps to install Rank Math SEO and configure it to fit your needs. Use the timestamps in this video's description to jump to specific topics, installing the plugin, going through the setup wizard, performing a complete SEO analysis to find ways of improving your website, getting to know the features, general settings, titles and meta, optimizing a post, and the status and tool section. We will cover features from both the free and pro version. If you don't have Rank Math Pro, you can skip the parts that talk about it and only concentrate on the options available for free. Now let's install Rank Math on your website. The plugin's free version can be installed through two methods, from the WordPress repository or uploading it manually. However, the pro version can only be downloaded from our website and uploaded manually. To install Rank Math through the WordPress repository, from within your website, access the plugin section of the WordPress panel. Click on Add New and the Add Plugins page will open with a search field on the right. You can just type in Rank Math and you'll see the results. Click on the Install button next to Rank Math. In just a few seconds, the Installation button will change to an Activate button. You must click on it to complete the installation. Once the plugin is activated, you'll be redirected to a page with a link for you to connect your Rank Math account. We'll make that connection right after we cover the installation through file uploads. You can download the plugin's free version from WordPress.org or RankMath.com, but the pro version is exclusively available on RankMath.com. Once you're logged in, the initial dashboard will show product downloads, with a link to download the zip file that contains the latest version of RankMath. Return to your WordPress dashboard and open the plugin section. Click on Add New, and when the page opens, click on the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page, right next to the title. A new panel will open where you can drag and drop the file, or you can click on the Browse button and locate the plugin in your hard drive. You can just upload the pro version, even if you don't have the free version. We will install both Rank Math SEO and Rank Math Pro. When you select the file, its name will appear on the page. Click on Install Now to upload the file and install it. WordPress will finish the upload and unzip it. Once the process is finished, you'll see the following screen. Click on the Activate Plugin button and you'll be taken to the Setup Wizard, where you can connect your account. If the free version was already installed and configured, you'll be redirected to the WordPress plugin screen, where you'll be able to see that Rank Math has been successfully installed. If there's a notice for you to activate Rank Math Pro on the top of the page, click on it to go to the login page and connect your account. Then return to the plugins list and click on Setup Wizard. We encourage you to create a Rank Math account even if you're using the plugin's free version, because this gives you access to additional features. These include analytics data right in your WordPress dashboard and our site-wide in-depth SEO analysis, as well as on-page SEO perks, like automatic suggestions of keywords to optimize your content, and five free credits from the Content AI analysis, which analyzes your focus keyword with the data from existing search results to give intelligent suggestions fitted for your content. You can create an account by clicking on Register Now and using your Facebook, Google, WordPress.com, or email account. After finishing the installation, it's time to set up the plugin. The fastest way to do that is through the setup wizard. If it doesn't open automatically, you can access it through the plugins page or Rank Math Zone dashboard. To open the dashboard, click on Rank Math in the left sidebar of your WordPress admin panel. The same option is available in the Quick Actions menu at the top bar. Open the setup wizard, which is on the top of the dashboard, right after Modules and Help. The setup wizard starts with a choice to use the plugin in easy or advanced mode which will influence how much you can customize it. In easy mode, you can add the custom information for your website and connect to Google services through Rank Math to make the most of our analytics feature. If you're using advanced mode, you'll also find settings for sitemaps and some SEO tweaks, and after you're done, there will be a link to set up advanced options. Rank Math Pro, business and agency users also have a third option, importing settings from other websites where they've already had great results with Rank Math. This will not import the metadata, only the plugin settings that you had customized. This can save a lot of time for anybody who works regularly with client websites. When you select this option, a Browse button will appear. Select the file and click on Upload. Then you can carry on with the rest of the setup wizard normally. If you see an error message saying that the file is not permitted for security reasons, we recommend downloading the File Upload Types plugin and adding the TXT format or contacting your hosting company. Once you've defined the mode, click on Start Wizard. For this tutorial, we're going to use the advanced mode. If you're not sure how you want to set up now, don't worry. 
All of these options are accessible from your WordPress admin area. If you switch to Rank Math from another SEO plugin, we will detect the data in your server and the following screen will be import. For previous Yoast users, this includes data from Yoast Premium, such as redirections and local news and video SEO. You can select which settings will be imported, then click on the Start Import button. When the import is over, the progress bar will show 100% completed. You can click on Continue to carry on with the rest of the settings. However, we recommend opening a few pages and posts to check if the data was correctly imported in the post editor after the process is complete. Moving on to your site, where you'll start by defining the type of website you're operating so we can make that clear for search engines. If you've imported settings from another plugin, many of the fields will already be filled out. The first option will dictate the others, telling Rank Math what the website is. All the options can be classified into two categories, personal or business. The first category includes personal blog, portfolio, or other personal website. The second is for a community blog or news site, small business, web shop, or other types of business websites. This defines the schema types that Rank Math will use to give context about your website to search engines. In case you don't know what schema is, we will cover it later in this tutorial. It will also affect the options offered by Rank Math, for instance, adding local SEO schema to commercial websites. We will also cover these options later. The first two settings, Logo for Google and Default Social Share Image, are available for all types, including personal blog, portfolio, or other personal websites. Logo for Google is what would appear in the knowledge graph alongside other information about your website or business. However, when your website or business starts appearing in the knowledge graph is up to Google's discretion. Once you've uploaded the logo, you will find it just below the option itself. The minimum supported resolution is 160 by 90 pixels, and the maximum supported resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. If you have a square variation of your logo, we recommend using that. The Default social share image is what would appear when visitors share a page that doesn't have a featured image or any images in the content. If you don't define one, the image section of your post will be empty when it's shared on Facebook. The recommended resolution is 1200 by 630 pixels. Meanwhile, community blog or news, small business, web shop, and other business website have two more options. The first, business type, is a comprehensive list of work areas that you can browse through or type to search. If the website doesn't fit into any of them, select organization. Then comes company name, which Rank Math will have already filled out with the current name of your website. If that's different from your organization, you should change it. The next step is analytics, when you'll connect to Google services through Rank Math to make the most of our analytics panel. Click on connect Google services and you'll be redirected to a page where you'll choose an account to continue. After selecting your account, you'll have to provide Rank Math the required permissions, so we can display the reports in your WordPress admin panel. We do not store any of the data from your Google account on our servers. Everything is processed and stored on your server. We take your privacy extremely seriously and ensure it is never misused. The three required permissions are to see and download your Google Analytics data, to view and manage Search Console data of your verified sites, and to let Rank Math manage the list of sites and domains that you control. If you're a Rank Math Pro user, Rank Math will also ask permissions for creating a new Google Analytics account with its default property and view, editing Google Analytics management entities, and viewing your AdSense data. On the next page, click on Allow once again to confirm your choices for permissions. Now that Rank Math is connected with your Google account, you'll be redirected back to the setup wizard, where you can choose the account used for each one. If you don't have a property for this site in Google Search Console, we will create it for you. Rank Math Pro users can choose a country to see the statistics for in Rank Math's analytics. Google Analytics is set up in the next section. You can choose your account, property, and view. Just as with Search Console, Rank Math Pro users can filter the analytics data for a specific country. If you're not using any other plugin or theme to add the Google Analytics code to your website, enable the Install Analytics Code option. If you do have a plugin or theme that has already added this code, enabling this option would make us add the same code for the second time. So you should consider which plugin you would like to use to add the Google Analytics tracking code to your website. Connecting to the last Google service, AdSense, is a Rank Math Pro feature. If you're using Rank Math Pro, just select your account. On the bottom of the page, you can activate the option Email Reports to receive SEO reports about how your website is performing in Google, straight to your inbox. The data in these reports shows real opportunities to improve your website's SEO. We'll discuss this feature in detail when we talk about the Analytics module. Use the timestamps in the description to jump to it. Some options only appear if you're using the setup wizard in advanced mode. 
Let's cover those. Sitemaps are lists of links to pages and media in your website that you submit to search engines. In the Setup Wizard, you can allow Rink Map to create sitemaps and define the basic settings to include images or not, and which post types and taxonomies will have sitemaps. If you have imported data from another plugin where there were specific sitemaps, such as news or video, you can also define if they'll keep their sitemaps and which post types will enter the sitemap for that content. Because sitemaps are a crucial SEO resource, we'll cover them thoroughly when we talk about Rank Maths modules. If you want to skip to that now, use the timestamps in the description. Rank Math chooses the best options by default, so you can leave this as it is if you're not sure of what to select here. Moving on to optimization, where we will customize a few of the options from Rank Math's general settings that only appear in the advanced mode. The first, no index empty category in tag archives, tells search engines that the archives of tags and categories not used in any posts or pages shouldn't be added to their index. Consequently, these pages should not be considered for ranking in search results. For example, if all of a website's posts are categorized, the automatically created, uncategorized category would have thin content, which means no useful content. Pages like that can harm the reputation of your website as a whole, affecting the ranking of other pages. The second, no follow external links, adds the nofollow meta tag to other websites. This tag tells search engines to not visit the pages or establish any relationship between your site and the destination. As a general rule of thumb, using nofollow tags on the external links reflects badly on a website, because external links should be resources where readers could learn more about the subject. So having nofollow would mean that the links were not researched properly or that they're not taking the reader to credible sources. We recommend using nofollow only for affiliate links, which we will learn how to do in the general settings section of this video. You can skip to that part with the timestamps in the description. Third and last, open external links in new tab or window makes all links to other websites open in new tabs or windows, even if the option open link in a new tab in the page editor is deactivated. The setup wizard's ready screen is a confirmation page that you have completed the steps until now. We recommend enabling the auto update feature so you can stay on the best and latest version of Rank Math always keeping up with the changes in Google's algorithm. There are other five useful links. Our tutorial about on-page SEO, which we will cover later in this video. Our YouTube channel, which you should subscribe to, by the way, in case you haven't already. Our free Facebook group, where you can meet other SEOs and ask questions. The knowledge base, where we have articles about each and every feature of the plugin. And a link to our support channel, where you can open the ticket in case no articles cover what your website is going through. Our team is happy to provide support to all Rank Math users, regardless of whether they use the free or pro version. Pro users also have access to additional and personal help. If you're using advanced mode, you'll find a button to set up advanced options, which has three new tabs, Role Manager, 404 in Redirections, and Schema Markup. The Role Manager allows you to use WordPress roles to control which of your site users can edit or view specific settings in Rank Math. It's useful for websites that have multiple people working behind the scenes, but if that's not your case, you can turn it off. We'll get into more details regarding the roles and settings further down the tutorial. Use the timestamps in the description in case you wish to skip to that part. In the next page, you can activate two features of Rank Math that we'll cover in the modules portion of this video, the 404 monitor and redirections. The 404 monitor gives you an overview of your entire website's 404 page not found errors. We recommend activating the feature so you don't miss any errors. Redirections is the module where you set up new destination pages for any URLs on your website. For example, the pages that present 404 errors. The last tab is where you can activate schema or structured data. This is metadata about pages and posts specifically formatted for search engines, so they understand the context of your content. We will explain what schema is and how Rank Math adds schema markup to your website in the module section of this video. You can skip to that part with the timestamps in the description. With the plugin installed and set up, we can start with one of Rank Math's best features, an in-depth site-wide analysis to show you what can and what must be improved. Keep in mind that to run the SEO analysis tests, your website needs to be connected to your free rankmath.com account. If you don't find the SEO analysis link in Rank Math's menu, you need to go to Rank Math's dashboard and activate the SEO analysis module. Then, click on the Start Sitewide Analysis button at the top of the page. This whole process takes a few seconds. When it's done, there will be charts at the top of the page with the SEO score and a quick summary of any issues found. The first column, Past Tests, shows how many aspects of your website don't need fixing. 
The second, warnings, regards the issues that are not very severe but deserve attention. The third and last one, failed tests, is about serious problems that need to be fixed immediately. These aren't site-breaking issues. Your site still works, but they are problematic from an SEO perspective. There are more detailed results in each test. The ones you pass will have a green check mark, while warnings will have a yellow exclamation point, and failed tests will have a red X. If you only see 21 tests, check if you're using the plugin in easy mode. All of the 29 tests will only appear if it's in advanced mode. The tests are divided into four sections, basic SEO, advanced SEO, performance, and security. Some of them apply to the entire website, while others are focused on the homepage. You can apply these tests to other pages with the free SEO Analyzer tool in Rank Math's website. The link is in this video's description. Starting with basic SEO, which regards the foundational aspects of your website. Eight tests are related to the homepage. A list of the keywords that Rank Math most found in your homepage, and if that group of words is cohesive, making the intent of the website clear. If the homepage has an SEO description, and if it's too long to appear fully in search results. If the page has an H1 heading, which is the text that usually houses your page title in the front end. If there are H2 headings to organize your homepage in sections. If the same keywords are present in both the title and the description. How many internal and external links exist on your homepage to analyze the ratio or proportion between them. If the homepage's SEO title is of an appropriate length, because if it's too long, it will be cut off and if the images in your web page have alt tags. We'll explain what these tags are and how you can add them automatically with Rank Math when we cover the Image SEO module. Use the timestamps in the description if you'd like to skip to that part. The other five tests are related to the website as a whole. If your website's tagline, which appears next to the homepage title, is still set to the default Just Another WordPress site, make sure to change it in WordPress's general settings because keeping it like that means wasting an opportunity to show what your website is about in the header of the homepage, which would be great for SEO. It also makes your website an easy target for hackers. Any hacker with a WordPress exploit can locate your site in seconds, and they usually attack hundreds of sites at a time. The blog public test refers to the option from WordPress's reading settings, called Search Engine Visibility. Activating it discourages search engines from indexing the site, as it says. Many times, this was enabled before the website was ready and continued like that because nobody remembered to deactivate it. Permalink structure checks if the structure of the URL for each post and page in your website is still the default that came in WordPress's permalink settings. A question mark, P, equals a number. This isn't good because there's no keyword information for your visitors or search engines. Moreover, the default structure makes URLs hard to remember. In the last two basic SEO tests, Rank Math counts how many posts don't have a focus keyword. Then, among the ones that do, it checks whether each post's focus keyword is present in its title. We recommend first adding the keywords to the posts that don't have them in place, then running the SEO analyzer again. Next is the advanced SEO section with 11 tests. Let's begin with the ones that only apply to the home page. In the first two, Rank Math gives you a preview of how your home page appears in the search results on desktop and mobile devices. Then comes Mobile Snapshot, which isn't technically a test. It shows you how the homepage looks on a mobile screen to help you identify if your website is actually mobile-friendly. The Canonical Tag Test analyzes if the homepage has self-canonical tags pointing to itself. Rank Math will check if the homepage has the Noindex Robots Meta tag added to it, which would tell search engines not to add the page to their indexes, consequently eliminating the chances of it ever ranking. Let's skip to Open Graph Meta, which will test the markup created by Facebook that formats your homepage to be shared on social networks. Skipping again to Schema Metadata, which searches for the chunks of code that help search engines understand the web and your website better. Now we'll cover the tests that apply to the whole website. WWW Canonicalization Test checks if URLs with WWW direct to URLs without it or vice versa, depending on how you set up your website. Google considers URLs with and without www to be two different pages, so you need to make it clear which of them is the true URL to avoid duplicate indexing. Rank Math looks for a robots.txt file at the root of your web server, which directs search engines on what they should or should not crawl. This type of file uses allow and disallow commands to tell bots if they can crawl directories or files. Since the standard behavior for bots is to crawl, most of the times you'll use disallow. Allow is useful when you want some files or a subdirectory, which is a folder in that folder, to be crawled. In WordPress, disallow is used for the administrative area by default, 
but you can always use it for specific folders or directories that don't show up in search results. If the plugin finds a disallow tag, it will show a warning so you can check if that content really shouldn't be crawled. You can make changes to the robots.txt file from the WordPress admin area with Rank Math, as we'll see in the module section of this video. Use the timestamps in the description if you want to skip to that part. The Search Console test checks if the website is connected to Google Search Console, formerly known as Google Webmaster Tools. To pass this test, you need to create a Rank Math account and connect to your website with Google services through Rank Math. The last of the advanced SEO tests checks if your website has a sitemap file. The third section, Performance, has six tests regarding the home page's speed, since this has become a significant ranking factor in the last couple of years. The first, Image Headers Expire, tells your visitor's browser how long the images in that page should be stored in cache for. Rank Math searches for expires in your image headers. When the element expires, the browser needs to load it again. Most caching plugins add this to your images. The following two tests, Minify CSS and Minify JavaScript, check if the CSS and JavaScript files are compressed to occupy less space, what's also known as minification. This can also be fixed with a caching plugin. The fourth test is page objects, which counts the number of requests made to your server in that particular page. There is no established baseline on what the number of requests should be, but the lower the better, because each one takes valuable loading time. Your home page passes the test if there are less than 20 requests. In the fifth performance test, Rank Math calculates the total size of the page's HTML. You pass the test if the size is less than 50 kilobytes. The last test in the performance section is about your server's response time. The biggest factor is the host itself, but if you can't change hosting companies, we recommend using a content delivery network, also known as CDN, that serves files from different servers across the globe. This usually helps improve the response time, or at least ease the load on your servers. Last but not least are the security tests. They start with visible plugins, which checks if any plugins used in your website are exposed in the code. This is valuable information for hackers. If they spot a plugin with a security breach, it will be used as an entry point to invade your website. The free security plugin Hide When WP Ghost hides this information from hackers. Then comes the same test for your theme. Rank Math tries to identify if your theme's name can be discovered by theme detectors or other tools. The directory listing test checks if the names of the files and folders that make your website are visible for everybody to see, which is not safe. If they are, you should contact your hosting provider and ask them to turn this off. And finally, Insecure Connection. Rank Math looks for the HTTPS protocol in your connection. Failing this test means that the website uses unsecured connections, which is a red flag for search engines as well as your visitors. We recommend that you switch to HTTPS quickly or contact your web host if you don't know how. Now that we've gone over your website's primary needs, let's get to know Rank Math's features so you can make the most out of the plugin. We'll start in Rank Math's dashboard. It has three tabs if you use the plugin in easy mode, Modules, Help, and Setup Wizard. If you use the advanced mode, there is a fourth, Import and Export. It's a shortcut to the Import and Export tab of Rank Math's Status and Tools section. In case you'd like to learn about it now, use the timestamp in the description to jump straight to it. For now, we will go through the first tab, Modules. Rank Math has two modes, Easy and Advanced, like we saw in the beginning of the Setup Wizard. You can easily switch modes in the upper right corner. The Easy mode benefits beginners who want to let us do all the heavy lifting SEO work, following the best practices. The Advanced mode is for users who wish to have full control over their website's SEO. Many options are available only when you enable it. You don't need to be in Advanced mode to use the options from the modules, so you can just activate them and return to easy mode. However, some of the modules have options that only appear in advanced mode, so that's the one we'll use for the rest of this tutorial. Some modules appear in the left sidebar of the WordPress panel when you activate them in the toggle. Let's start by covering the modules that don't require additional plugins, then the ones that do, in alphabetical order. Starting with the 404 monitor, which gives you an overview of your entire website's 404 page not found errors. This feature has two modes, Simple and Advanced. The Simple mode groups 404 errors by URI, which means Uniform Resource Identifier. You will find two other columns, Hits, which is the number of times the error causing URI was accessed, and Access Time, that captures the time of the latest hit on the URI. The Advanced mode shows 404 errors individually with more details. First, the Referrer field shows the URL for the page that contains the wrong link, even if it belongs to another website. Second, the user agent column shows the browser where the error happened. 
But now you can notice that the last column, Hits, shows numbers with links. By clicking on the number, you'll see a filtered list with only the errors for that URI. It's important to consider carefully before switching from easy to advanced mode, because it might increase your error log significantly. The mode is also defined in the settings, which you can access in the general settings section of Rink Math. You can also define a limit for the number of errors shown in the log and enter URIs or keywords you wish to prevent from getting logged by the 404 monitor. The last setting, Ignore Query Parameters, tells the monitor to ignore the part of the URL that comes after a question mark. If you see a lot of errors in the log file that have the same URL but different query parameters, you can enable this to have a cleaner log. The Analytics module helps you connect Rank Math with Google Services to see the most important statistics directly in your WordPress dashboard. To use this feature, you'll need to connect your website to your Rank Math free account and then make the connection to the Google Services. If you want to follow the tutorial for either of these steps, use the timestamps in this video's description to go back to Create Your Rank Math Account or the Analytics section of the Setup Wizard. Now, let's browse through the Analytics section. It has six tabs. The Dashboard, Site Analytics, SEO Performance, Keywords, Rank Tracker, an exclusive feature for Rank Math Pro business and agency users, and Index Status. The Dashboard is where you'll see an overview of your current SEO standing and also your immediate SEO progress. Start by defining a time frame for Rank Math to pull data from Google Search Console. Keep in mind that Search Console only begins recording data after you've set it up. The first card you'll see on the screen is the overall optimization chart, which gives you an overview of the optimization of your posts based on the SEO score assigned by Rank Math. We will learn all about on-page optimization later in this tutorial. If you click on Open Report, the Site Analytics tab will open. We will cover it in a few moments. The SEO Performance Overview gives you a quick update on your search traffic, overall impressions, total number of keywords you're ranking for, and the average position. The Open Report link will take you to the SEO Performance tab, which we will cover in a bit. Rank Math Pro users have access to the Keyword Report Overview, a summary of the top winning keywords, meaning the keywords for which your posts have most gone up in the rankings, and top losing keywords, the ones for which your posts have most gone down in search results. Since Rank Math Pro also offers a keyword tracker, this report has a separate tab for showing the top winning and losing tracked keywords. All Rank Math users have access to the Keywords Position Report, which gives you a quick picture of the best and worst ranking in the search results based on keywords your site is ranking for. Both of these cards have links to the Keywords tab, which we will learn about in a few minutes. Rank Math Pro has another exclusive feature, a list of the top five winning and losing posts from across your website. This means the posts that have gone up and down the most positions in search results during the last 30 days. You can choose which data will appear in the table. The position in the search results, the search traffic, which means all the traffic generated on your website from search results, including the actual results and also any additional page views that those clicks generated. The amount of impressions, which means how many people saw the pages in search results. How many clicks your posts and pages got in search results. The average click-through rate, which is the percentage of clicks in the impressions. And a graph with the position history, so you can analyze if any changes you made had a positive or negative impact. If there are too many columns and some of them don't appear, try sliding the table to the right. The columns should be there. Site Analytics is a Rank Math Pro feature that combines data from Rank Math, Google Analytics, and Google Search Console to help you direct your SEO efforts towards the most important posts on your website. This starts by showing you an overview of how many posts on your website are well optimized, and you can look up a particular page by entering the URL or typing the title. The link will appear right below the search box, and when you click on it, a page with the post statistics will appear. You can filter by the score or even by the posts without data, which are the ones that still don't have a focused keyword. We recommend having focused keywords on all the posts so Rank Math can calculate their SEO score to make sure you're not missing any opportunities. You can click on the title of any post listed here, and it will open a new section in the beginning of the page where you can find detailed information. It begins with the Rank Math SEO score and the Rank Math SEO Analyzer score. The difference between those is that the Rank Math SEO score is based on the tests you'll find in Rank Math's Metabox when you edit your content, while the SEO Analyzer score is calculated from all the tests performed with Rank Math's SEO Analyzer tool, the same tests that were performed on your homepage in the SEO Analysis module that we covered. Keeping in mind that the goal here is to optimize the most accessed content, 
The top right corner has four badges, which will indicate if that's among the five posts with the most search traffic in the entire website, the most search impressions, most clicks, and most ranked keywords. There will be a number for the rank within the metric. There are also numbers for the page's loading speed on desktop and mobile devices and how the primary keyword has been trending on Google searches. The graph underneath includes additional data about your post from Search Console and Google Analytics. Last but not least, there's a table with all the keywords your post is currently ranking for and their respective ranking data. This is especially useful when posts are ranking between the 11th and 20th position for a high-volume keyword. It's a lot faster to break into top 10 results, which means the first result page, by optimizing this post rather than writing a new post and trying to get it ranked. Then you'll find a list of all your blog posts, pages, products, and custom post types in a table that you can filter by post type. In the table, you will also find the SEO score, schema type, and links from the page to other pages within the website, in other websites, and how many pages in your site link to that one. You can also include some of the metrics that we just presented in the dashboard, impressions, search traffic, clicks, position, and position history. The next tab is SEO performance, a report with six different metrics for your selected time frame. The total search traffic, which means the traffic generated on your website from search results, including the actual results and also any additional page views that those clicks generated. The number of times your website appears when people search your focus keywords, the total number of keywords your website is ranking for, the number of times people saw your links in search pages and clicked on them, the percentage of people that saw your result and clicked, and last but not least, the average ranking of your website's pages, taking all of the keywords into account. Rank Math Pro includes the latest updates to Google's algorithm in the graph. This can show you if a particular update impacted your site's performance, so you can adjust the SEO strategy. The changes that have been confirmed by Google will have a green confirmed notice. Since Google makes thousands of updates every year and does not comment on them unless they have a significant impact on the search results, we will also signal when search engine result pages tracking tools have picked up on strong signals of fluctuation in the results. You can click on Read More to learn all we know about each potential update. Under the graph, there is a table with the five posts that have most gone up and down in the rankings. Alongside the current position is that statistic in the beginning of the time period, for comparison. On the end of the page is the same table with all of the website's content that you'll find in the Site Analytics tab. You can click on the title to open the specific data for that page. The Keywords tab helps you track the ranking or the position of your website in the search engines. Besides giving an overview, Rank Math provides two tables, one with the top five winning and losing keywords and another with the rest of them. Monitoring the winning and losing keywords can show you opportunities or potential pitfalls beforehand, so you can come up with an appropriate course of action. When you click on a word, you will see all of the posts that appear in the search results for that keyword. While you shouldn't have more than one post with the same primary keyword, the same keyword could play a minor role in several posts. Rank Math Pro users will see an additional tab, Rank Tracker. No keywords will be there the first time you visit this tab, and there are three ways to add them. The fastest way is with Auto Add Focus Keyword, which will import focus keywords from all your existing posts and automatically add the focus keywords used on your new posts. To add words individually, you either need to use the Add button on the top of the table or open the Keywords tab to add from the tables by clicking on the plus sign in the beginning of each line. The Rank Tracker will monitor and record their performance so you know which keywords are working for you better than others, both in and out of your website. On the top of the page, there will be a graph with the history of your keyword rankings so you can track their progress over time. You can add or remove data by clicking on the small graph icon to the left. When the keyword is on the graph, the icon will be green instead of gray. When the cursor hovers there, a button with a trash can icon will appear. That's what you use to remove words from the tracker. Since this tool works retroactively, because it pulls from the analytics data, you can add and delete keywords when you need to. The ranking history will always be for the period you select on the analytics settings, which we will cover next. By default, the tables show your ranking keywords at first and the ones that don't appear on the search results towards the end but you can always click on the columns to sort the table as you require. Now, let's check out the Index Status tab. Rank Math will update the Index Status every time it fetches new data from Google Analytics and Google Search Console, which is every seven days for free users and three days for pro users. Currently, free users have a limit of 2,000 URLs and pro users have a limit of 6,000 URLs that will be fetched in each schedule. We'll begin with the Index Statuses shown in Rank Math and what they correspond to in Google Search Console. 
Rank Math Pro users will find an overview of the index status of the pages overall in top statuses. The number of pages under each status appears when you hover your mouse over the pie chart, as well as listed on the right. Unspecified corresponds to no data available, which can happen sometimes if Google hasn't crawled this page yet. Pass means valid pages, which are the pages that are valid and have been indexed without issues or warnings. Partial corresponds to valid with warning. These pages have been indexed, but have issues that could lead to bad results if the warnings are ignored. Fail means error. These are the pages that haven't been indexed because something's wrong and need your immediate attention. Later in this tutorial, we'll go over specific error type descriptions at each page so you can know what's happening and how to fix it. Excluded corresponds to excluded from indexing. This status includes those URLs that are deliberately excluded from indexing by you or the ones with duplicate content. Next, it's time to go over some of the most common status reasons. You can check out the knowledge base article that corresponds to this video for a full list of statuses. Rank Math Pro users will find them listed in the presence on Google card. Submitted and indexed implies that the URL you've submitted through the sitemap was successfully indexed. Indexed not submitted in sitemap are the URLs Google discovered through means other than the sitemap, which have been indexed. URL is unknown to Google indicates that Google hadn't discovered this URL before and hasn't crawled it yet. Crawled, currently not indexed, means that Google has decided not to index the page for now. Discovered, currently not indexed, indicates that Google has discovered the page and even wants to crawl it. But doing that could have caused an overload on the site, so Google has rescheduled the crawl. Submitted URL marked no index indicates that you've submitted a page for indexing. However, something on the page, like a no index meta tag or HTTP header, instructs Google not to index this page. Index, though blocked by robots.txt, is for pages that your robots.txt blocked Google from crawling, but were linked to on another site. So even though Google respects the robots.txt file, it's managed to index this page anyway. It's also possible to just get blocked by robots.txt, which means the page hasn't been indexed because of the rules in the robots.txt file. So first you need to check by going to your website slash robots.txt or use Google's robots testing tool, which we've linked in the description. If you want the page to be indexed, you can check if the rules were written with Rank Math's general settings in the robots.txt tab. If they weren't, you'll need to make changes to the file via FTP. If you don't want the page to be indexed, instead of trying to block indexing with robots.txt, you need to set the page to no index. Open Rank Math's meta box in your page editor of choice and go to the advanced tab. Then select no index in the robots meta tag area and update the page. If you can't find the advanced tab in the meta box, make sure that the plugin is in advanced mode on the upper right corner of the dashboard. If your sitemaps were created with Rank Math's sitemap module, once you've set the page to no index, it will be excluded from the sitemap. Four of the statuses are related to canonical tags. These tags tell search engines what URL to index in two cases. First, when the same page can be reached by different addresses, for example, with and without www. Second, when pages have very similar content. Rank Math adds a self-canonical tag by default to all pages, but you can assign a new address through the meta box in your page editor of choice. Open the Advanced tab, paste the URL in the canonical URL field and update the page. If you can't find the Advanced tab in the meta box, make sure that the plugin is in Advanced mode on the upper right corner of the dashboard. If your sitemaps were created with Rank Math's sitemap module, once you add a canonical tag, the duplicate page will be excluded from the sitemap. Alternate page with proper canonical tag means that Google has recognized the canonical tag and sees this page as a duplicate. Duplicate without user-selected canonical suggests that Google has recognized this page and several other similar pages as duplicate, but none of them includes a canonical. We recommend explicitly marking the canonical page. Duplicate, Google chose different canonical than user, denotes that you've marked this page as canonical, but Google thinks another page could be a better choice for the page that will be indexed. Duplicate, submitted URL not selected as canonical, is shown when you don't use the canonical tag to indicate which URL should be indexed. Google will define which page to index on its own, and the duplicates will show this error. All Rank Math users will see a table with all the pages, posts, and custom post types in the website and the individual index status of posts. Rank Math Pro users can filter the posts by their index status using the drop-down menu at the top. When you select a specific status, you'll be able to see all the posts that share the same index status. Pro users also have advanced index stats, which we'll cover in detail later. All users can choose which columns to display to keep the table clutter-free. 
To add or remove columns, click on the three horizontal dots that you see in the top right and choose the columns you prefer. Some information is available exclusively for Pro users. The overall index status in the Status column, as well as the columns crawled as, which indicates if the user agent that Google crawled this page with was a mobile or desktop device, and Robot State, which shows whether the page is blocked for crawling or not. The other columns are available for all users. Indexing Allowed indicates whether the page has an index or no index meta tag. Mobile Usability checks whether the page clears the mobile usability test or not. Rich Results indicates the rich snippets that Google has detected on the page. And Page Fetch indicates whether Google could retrieve their page from the server. Rank Math presents all the data in the table with a color code so you can understand the status of each page quickly. A green stamp with a tick means pass, an orange stamp with a tick means partial, a red stamp with an X means fail, and a gray stamp with a question mark means unspecified. Rank Math Pro users can dive deep into the indexing metrics and results for each post by clicking on the indexing status under its title. New fields will appear. Verdict provides information on whether the submitted page is indexed or not. Robots Text State indicates whether or not the page is blocked to Google by a robots.txt rule. Depending on whether your robots.txt file restricts the crawling of this page, you'd see one of three values. The two first, allowed and disallowed, correspond to the commands in the file. Third comes unspecified, which means that the page wasn't fetched or found, or that the robots.txt file itself couldn't be reached. Indexing state shows there's a noindex meta tag or HTTP header blocking indexing. This field can show unspecified, indexing allowed, blocked by meta tag, or blocked by HTTP header. Last crawl time shows the last time this URL was crawled by Google using the primary crawler, whether it's mobile or desktop. This result won't be available if the page still hasn't been crawled successfully. The page fetch state indicates whether Googlebot was able to retrieve the page from your server or not. There are several possible values. Unknown fetch state, successful fetch, 401, blocked due to unauthorized request, 403, blocked due to access forbidden, 404, not found, soft 404, blocked due to other code for issues that are neither 403 or 404, blocked by robots.txt, Server error, which would be a code 5 followed by two other numbers, redirection error, internal error, and invalid URL. The next field, Google Canonical, indicates the canonical URL that Google has selected for the page. If the page isn't indexed, this result won't be available. On the other hand, the user canonical field indicates the canonical URL that you've explicitly declared on the page. If the page doesn't include a canonical tag, this result will be unavailable. But, like we mentioned earlier, Rank Math would automatically add self-referencing canonical tags for all pages that are set as index. You can check whether the page is set to index or no index in the Advanced tab of Rank Math's meta box, so you should probably find the post's own URL here. Sitemaps will show any known sitemaps that point to this page, that were submitted to Google through the Search Console or listed down in the robots.txt file. Any sitemap discovered through other means would not be listed. In referring URLs, you can find URLs that Google possibly used to discover this page. The referring page might have a direct link to this page or through a chain of linked pages. An empty field here just means that the referring pages may be inaccessible or that the URL inspection API was unable to pull this information for now. Moving on to crawled as, which shows if the primary crawler that Google has used to crawl this page was desktop or mobile. Mobile usability result tells you whether the page is mobile friendly or not. Since not all pages are tested for mobile usability, besides a pass or fail, you might also find not available as a value here. Rank Math also displays any issues that might be hindering the page from being optimized for mobile devices. Last but not least, Rich Result Types shows the Rich Results Analysis, information that was formatted to appear directly in search result pages, such as breadcrumbs or frequently asked questions. If there are no Rich Results found, you'll see it as absent. Now that you know how the feature works, let's take a look at the settings. They're in the General Settings section of Rank Math in the Analytics tab. Rank Math Pro, Business, and Agency users can choose a specific country for Search Console and Analytics. In the Search Console section, you can activate the Index Status option to see that tab in Analytics. In Analytics, all users can install Analytics code if they're not using any other plugin or theme to add the Google Analytics code to their website. If you do have a plugin or theme that has already added this code, Enabling this option would make us add the same code for the second time, like we mentioned in the setup wizard, so you should consider which plugin you'd like to use for this. 
Rank Math also gives all users the option of excluding logged in users from analytics data. Pro users also have the options to anonymize all of the visitors' IP addresses and have a self hosted analytics.js file which boosts the speed of your website because it hosts the Google Analytics script locally and uploads it every 12 hours. This means you no longer need to send requests to Google for an external JS file. All Rank Math users can define how long we should keep the data that we download from Google Analytics in your database. Rank Math free users have a maximum of 90 days. Keep in mind that the data is stored twice, so differences can be properly calculated. It's also possible to delete data, which only applies to the data from Google we have copied to your server. You can delete the data if you want to start fresh or if you're running out of space. And update data manually, which downloads data from Google when you click on it. If you have chosen to retain 90 days of data in your analytics database, we estimate that your data will be imported in 17 minutes. If you have more data, it will take more time. Rank Math Business and Agency users have another extra feature, monitor SEO performance. This is a centralized dashboard in rankmath.com with performance statistics of all the sites connected to that account. It's in the Websites tab. By default, the feature is enabled for business users to monitor their performance for all of their clients, but they can choose to enable or disable the performance stats for individual sites. Pro users have access to the same statistics in the rankmath.com dashboard, but they can only enable or disable the analytics stats for all the connected websites, not individually. To do that, activate or deactivate the Display Analytics Stats option in rankmath.com's Websites tab. Moving on to the Google Core Updates in the Graphs option, which is also a feature in Rank Math Pro. This is shown in the graphs of the SEO performance, keywords, and Rank Tracker tabs. It's useful to see the impact of each update on your website so you can plan ways to adapt your SEO strategy. Finally, you can activate the option Email Reports to receive statistics straight in your inbox. Rank Math free users can enable this option to get a monthly summary of the numbers you can find in the SEO performance tab we just covered. Rank Math Pro users have the option of getting reports every two weeks with that information, plus the site search traffic summary, as well as the posts and keywords that have the best and worst rankings, including comparisons with the previous report. For Rank Math Business and Agency users, the reports can have a weekly frequency and be sent to multiple email accounts. The settings include full customization for white labeling, replacing the logo and defining the URL it will point to, replacing the background of the headers with your own color or gradient, adding text or basic HTML to the beginning or the end of the report. For instance, a link to opt out of receiving these emails. And even using additional CSS to modify aspects like the font used in the email. Moving on to the Content AI module, which uses Rank Math's proprietary algorithms and deploys our own AI server to craft recommendations especially fitted for your content. Since this module is used for on-page SEO, we will go into details when we cover that. You can use the timestamps in the description to jump to that part of the tutorial. The Image SEO module adds a new tab to Rank Math's general settings with options to dynamically add alternative text and title tags to all images inside the content of your website. Alternative tags should contain a brief description of the image. They're crucial for accessibility, since screen readers use them to describe images for people who need assistive devices to navigate the web. In the same way, search engine bots use them to determine what an image is all about, which makes them very important for SEO and they are the text that appears for visitors when the images on a page fail to load. Our feature offers different variables that you can add to the tag, such as the file's name and your website's name. The default is set to the file's name because having the same text in all images would be considered spamming. This means that you would have to name images accordingly with a brief description of what they show before uploading them to the website. Rank Math will create the tags on the fly as the page loads with a method that complies 100% with Google guidelines, unlike a few other SEO plugins. If the image already has an alt tag that was manually added, we will not modify it. You can add alt tags while editing your content. In the block editor, the field will be in the block settings in the sidebar to the right. In the classic editor, you need to click on the image, then on the pencil icon to edit its details. Title tags, on the other hand, appear when the cursor lingers over the image. They're not as important for SEO, but some screen readers can also read them. Now, when you open an image to edit, whether in the media library or while editing a page in WordPress's classic editor, you might think that the field title is related to the title attribute, but it's not. That's what would appear as the title of that image's attachment page. WordPress generates it automatically from the file's name. You can edit the actual title attribute while creating your content. In the classic editor, click on Advanced Options. In Gutenberg, that will be on the bottom of the sidebar with the image settings. Keep in mind that this feature doesn't add alternative tags to images outside the content area, 
so you should make sure that your website's theme is accessibility ready and optimized. Pro users have the same options, but also for image captions and descriptions. They can also change casing for the four attributes, add title attributes to avatars, and in the last feature, replace the character or words in the alt tags, title tags, or in the captions. Then comes the instant indexing module, which uses the IndexNow protocol to submit your URLs to Bing, Yandex, and several other search engines. All you need to do is activate the module, select the post types that you want to submit automatically, and save the changes. Rank Math will generate an API key for your website and host it dynamically. Every time you submit a URL, the plugin will ping the IndexNow API automatically. All of the submitted URLs are shared with all the participating search engines, so they can crawl your pages and possibly index and rank your content much quicker. It also means no more redundant serving of web pages that search engines already have, which improves your server's performance. There are three ways to submit URLs manually. The first is pasting them in the Submit URLs tab of the module. You can paste several at once, as long as there is one per line with the full URL. The second and third are in the Posts list. You can add individually with the Instant Indexing Submit page option, located under each title, or in bulk by selecting several posts and using the Bulk Actions menu. Currently, the IndexNow API allows publishers to submit up to 10,000 URLs a day. You can check the URLs you have submitted in the History section of the Instant Indexing module, along with the response code related to that submission. The response for valid and relevant URLs should be 200, OK, which means the URL was successfully submitted. However, you might find a 202 accepted status initially. That means the IndexNow API has accepted the request, but the site still needs to be verified with the API key. Now, if you'd like to submit URLs automatically to Google, you can download our free instant indexing plugin. Watch the video on the card to learn more. Link Counter counts the total number of links in each post to pages in your own website, which are called internal links, and to pages from other websites, which are called external links. It will also show the amount of links to that page from other pages in your website. You can see those numbers in the Posts List page or in the Page Editor while you write your content. Pro users will also find it in the Site Analytics tab of Rank Math's Analytics section. The Local SEO and Knowledge Graph module contains all the settings related to local businesses. If the website is not for a local business and you've set up Rank Math correctly, this section might not appear in your dashboard. If it is for a local business, filling out this information increases the chances of appearing on search engine result pages in a knowledge graph at the top of the page. The settings for it are in the Titles and Meta section of Rank Math. They start with the basic information for any business. If the website represents a person or a business, the name, logo, and URL. With Rank Math Pro, you can have all of these settings for multiple locations. If you activate that option, Rank Math will create a new custom post type called Locations, where you can add multiple locations of your business or organization. We will talk about this post type later in the video, when we cover on-page SEO. New options will appear. The measurement system used on the map and directions, the map style, the primary country, which usually improves the accuracy of the store locator. More advanced settings include location detection, in case you include directions for your customers, and enhanced search, which shows business locations and site-wide search results. Plus, you can customize several labels related to the locations. You will also find settings for email, a physical address, opening hours, Google Maps API key, and geo coordinates, as well as setting about and contact pages. Another Rank Math Pro feature is the local sitemap, which we will cover further down this module in the sitemap segment. Let's skip new sitemap and come back to it in a bit. The redirections module is what allows you to easily redirect your URLs with just a few clicks. Each redirection corresponds to one destination URL, so you can add multiple sources, whether it's individually with the Add Another button or in bulk by pasting from a list of terms and slugs. There's no need to enter the full address in the source URL field. Just a slug or a term will do, because you can use more than an exact match, including all URLs that contain, start, or end with a term, and even use regular expressions for more complex rules. It's also possible to disregard capital letters by checking the Ignore Case field. Even though the source URLs only require slugs, the destination URL needs to be complete. You can put in a page from your website or an external URL, but also any kind of file, PDFs, images, video, etc. Then, you need to define the type among the protocols 301, 302, 307, 410, or 451. The first three are redirection types. A 301 code means the old URL has permanently moved to a new address, 
whereas a 302 code represents a temporary redirect. A 307 redirect is also temporary, with a few technical differences from a 302, mainly related to caching and the request format. You can use 302 and 307 almost interchangeably. The last two are maintenance codes to use in case there's no new content to redirect the URL to. 410 content deleted should be used if there's no suitable replacement for that content. When search engines encounter a 410, they also de-index the page naturally. 451, content unavailable for legal reasons, applies to the content that has to be restricted to a demographic, age group, or another similar restriction. For instance, most regions don't allow minors to access gambling sites. If that was your case, you would use the 451 to restrict content for the people below the mandatory age. The destination URL field will be hidden, and there is no need to set a new target for that URL. The last in the redirections options that all ranked math users can see is the status field, which represents whether the redirect is active or not. It can be used for both creating redirects in advance and enabling them later, or creating temporary redirects. You can enable or disable a redirection in two ways changing the status in the editor, or using the Activate Deactivate link from the All Redirections page. You can see that when a redirect is disabled, it will appear washed out on the page. Rank Math Pro users have access to an extra feature, creating categories to organize your redirections. You can add new categories right on the form and edit them by clicking on Manage Categories. It's also possible to add in bulk from the redirections list. This makes maintaining redirections much easier, especially in big websites with hundreds of them. Once you've created the categories, you can filter which ones you'd like to see on the list, and you can make changes such as activating, deactivating, or sending them to the trash. Even if you don't filter them through categories, you can still apply those bulk actions to several redirects at once. Besides creating, you can back up your redirections or replicate them in another site with the export option. All Rank Math users can export the redirects to the HT access file used in Apache servers or to Nginx server configuration files. In Rank Math Pro, users will see an Import and Export button instead of just Export, where there will be additional options to import and export the redirections in a CSV file. This feature lets you make changes in bulk with the help of external editors, such as Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel, or Numbers. If you download the file, you will already find the table in the proper format. If you're creating the table from scratch, know that it needs to have at least one source and one destination for each redirection. However, it can also have all the other information that you would put in the Redirection Manager. Here are the instructions in each column. In Source URL and Destination URL, you can just paste the slug, which is the part of the URL that comes after the website's domain name. If you're redirecting to another website, you will need the full URL. To add several source URLs to the same destination, just add new source URLs in new lines and repeat the destination. You can also do that in the CSV file by adding the value in the JSON format. The value must be an array of objects with pattern and comparison properties. ID. If the ID already exists, we will update the redirect instead of creating a new one. If it's empty, it will create a new redirection. Matching. This column corresponds to the match type field in Rank Math's Redirection Manager. The accepted values are exact, contains, start, end, and regex, which stands for regular expressions. Type. The accepted values are 301, 302, 307, 410, and 451. Rank Math by default considers the status to be 301. Make sure to not have any URLs in the target field if you choose 410, because as we mentioned earlier, this means content deleted. Category. This can help you organize your redirections to easily manage them later, if you add a new category under this column that you hadn't already created in your website, Rank Math will create a new one. And status, which accepts the values active and inactive. Blank fields are considered active by default. You can arrange the columns in any order. To delete an existing URL, write DELETE in all caps, since this is case sensitive, under the destination column. Then, download the spreadsheet as a CSV file and return to WordPress. Switch to the Import tab and upload the CSV file. Don't forget to save the changes. In case you want to read about creating and editing redirects using CSV for other use cases, check out the detailed knowledge base article that we've linked to in the description. Another pro feature is the Sync to HT Access button, which automatically syncs your redirections to the HT Access file for even faster redirects. Now let's go through the redirection settings, which you can access in the general settings section of Rank Math. The first is the redirections debugger. If it's activated, whenever you click on a redirection, an interstitial page with the first rule will appear for 5 seconds. 
Then the destination URL will open. If the interstitial doesn't appear even while the debugger is active, that means the redirect isn't being processed. You'll have to edit its rules. This is useful to keep track of what each redirect is doing and solve problems like having two redirects for the same URL or if you create a regex-based rule that causes a large number of unintentional redirects. Don't worry about visitors seeing the debugger in action, as it's only visible for website administrators. The following option, fallback behavior, defines what happens when the destination URL in a redirect isn't found. You can set it to a 404 or redirect to the home page or to a custom URL. If you select the custom URL option, another field opens up to enter the fallback URL. We recommend that you never choose to redirect to the home page because this would discard the entire journey the visitor made on the website. It would be like going to a store to buy something and being sent back to the front door when you didn't find it exactly where you were looking for it. Instead of sending the person back to the beginning without an explanation, you could display a notice that the content is not available, which would be the 404 page, or redirect them to a section that you believe might be useful for them. For instance, the latest posts on a blog. On the third setting, redirection type, you define the default type for redirections that will already appear selected as you create a new one. The last feature, Auto Post Redirect, extends the functionality that makes redirections happen automatically when you make a change in a post's URL. WordPress only does this for posts, while Rank Math does it for pages and custom post types, so we recommend activating this feature. It's also useful if you want to use a redirection type other than 301, which WordPress creates by default. As we covered in the Setup Wizard, the Role Manager lets you restrict individual features for each user, depending on what roles you provide them on the website. The options start with titles and meta settings, which affect the metadata that is created especially for ranking purposes. It also includes the general settings, where you can customize several of Rank Math's modules, and the sitemap settings, which we will cover in a bit. You can also give access to the 404 monitor log. The Link Builder option displays the information from the Link Counter module that we just talked about. The Redirections feature that we just covered is where the person will set up the destinations for any URLs on your website. You can restrict access to the Role Manager itself, the analytics that we thoroughly covered earlier in this video, and the site-wide analysis with 29 tests. Then there are six options related to Rank Math's Metabox, which you will find in the Page Editor. On-Page Analysis refers to the Content Analysis test in the General tab. On-Page General Settings hides that tab altogether, including the Snippet Editor, the Focus Keyword Field and Keyword Suggestions, the Google Trends Integration Tool, which is a pro feature, and the Pillar Content Checkbox. Hiding the General tab will hide the Content Analysis and Content AI, which we will cover in a bit, even if those options are active. The next three options are named after their respective tabs, Advanced, Schema, and Social. Content AI is another feature that appears in the General tab. It's a deep analysis of the post's focus keyword by our algorithm based on data from existing search results. We give you intelligent suggestions on how many words, headings, links, and media to use, what keywords can be used, and what links can be added. The last option, Top Admin Bar, regards the Quick Actions menu. It starts with a shortcut to Rank Math's dashboard and to other useful options, like the Analytics module. Pro users can also easily access that post or page's analytics data. All users can find the titles and meta settings for that post type, the 404 monitor, and redirections, including the option to redirect that particular page. You can also make changes related to the specific page you're in, marking as pillar content if it's a post that should be mentioned in other posts, and adding the noindex and nofollow tags. And the external tools bring useful resources in Google, Facebook, and Pinterest, where you can check if that page is well optimized. To select all or none of the permissions for one user role, click on Toggle All right below its name. When you have plugins that create other roles, for instance WooCommerce, You'll also be able to add or remove SEO permissions. Just check the boxes and click on Update Capabilities at the bottom of the page. Moving on to the Schema module. In the context of SEO, Schema is a vocabulary or a way that you can mark up the code in your website to translate it to search engines. You can add schema types to your pages so Google knows what they're about. A product, a movie, a business location, for example. The more a website uses schema, the better it can be understood as a whole how it connects to the business it represents, and how the content, and even products there, can benefit the visitors. This increases the chances of your website being featured on the top of the search engine result pages with rich snippets, which are highlighted sections of the page. 
It also makes your website eligible to be included in voice search results, meaning when people ask something to Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri, or any other voice assistants. This is a trend that's been on the rise and will continue to be in the upcoming years. When you activate the schema module, Rank Math adds options in the titles and meta settings. You'll be able to select a schema type for each post type, so we recommend that you browse through the options and find the most accurate one. There are no schema options in the taxonomy pages because they're more used in individual content pages, but we'll get into more details about this when we cover titles and meta. If you want to check out that part now, click on the timestamp in the description. For Rank Math Pro users, it also creates a schema template section where you can create custom schema types for your content. You can use the types already available in Rank Math as a base or create a new type since there are hundreds of schema types on schema.org. Click on Add New. If you just want to customize an existing type, click on it. You'll find a few options, and if you click on Advanced Editor, there will be more advanced settings available. If you want to create a new type, there are two options. One is importing from another page. You can paste a URL in the field or copy HTML on JSON-LD codes from another page, then paste it there. The other is clicking on Custom Schema and adding properties in property groups. Once you've created the schema type, it's time to specify in which pages it will appear. Click on Edit right below the name of the schema type and open the display conditions. If you don't alter this, the schema type will be added to all the pages on the website, and it's important to never have wrong schema on a page. So you can start by defining what content to apply the schema to with the Include option, or what content not to apply to with Exclude. Then you'll define the target. It could be a post type or archives, such as categories and tags. Finally, you can apply several filters. In the case of archives, you can type a specific category, tag, author, or custom taxonomies. Whatever you select in the archives applies to those archive pages, not to the items. For instance, the author archive pages, not every post written by an author. In any post type, you can filter through taxonomies or specify single items. By adding multiple conditions or stacking, you can create more complex rules. Keep in mind that there's a hierarchy among the rules. Singular and archive take priority over the entire site option, while exclude takes priority over include. So you can create a rule to include an entire category but exclude specific posts. The SEO analysis module runs 29 different tests to provide specific instructions on how you can improve your website's SEO. We have just covered that in detail earlier in this video. To skip to that part, Use the timestamps in the description. Keep in mind that, to use this feature, you will need to connect your website to your rankmath.com account. Now let's talk about three modules. Sitemaps, including the local sitemap when that module is active, news sitemaps, and video sitemaps. A sitemap is a list of links to pages and media in your website that you submit to search engines. The truth is, the best approach is having more than just one sitemap file. Rank Math splits the sitemap into several sitemaps to help search engines crawl the URLs better and faster. We create one for pages, another one for categories, for each post type, etc. They are all present in the sitemap index XML file, and you can copy that link from the top of the General tab to submit to Google Search Console and other search engines. The other two modules are specific. First, one for news-related content on your website. Second, for your video content. Only activate them if you have those formats of content, to increase the chances of ranking higher in those result pages. You will then see new tabs for them in the sitemap settings. The General tab has settings that will impact all the sitemaps you create. We start with links per sitemap that limits the amount of URLs in each page. Even though Google restricts each sitemap to 50,000 URLs, using such a high number can result in a big load on your server. So we recommend keeping a maximum of 200 links per sitemap unless the website is on a dedicated server. Then, we see two options regarding images. The first, Images and Sitemaps, enables search engines to find the images more easily and index them to show up in image search results. On the other hand, Include Featured Images does the same to those images that you add as the face of your posts, even when they don't appear in the published versions. Now that we're talking about posts, you can exclude specific ones by submitting their IDs. An ID is a number assigned to each post or page, and you'll find it in the URL when you open it in the editor. It's the number right after post equals. This applies to any post type you have in your website, including custom ones that you may have created. You can exclude tags, categories, and custom taxonomies in the exact same way, with the setting exclude terms. To find their IDs, access that type of taxonomy and click on edit for the one you want. 
it'll be the number right after ID equals. The last setting, Pink Search Engines, tells Rank Math to notify Google and Bing when you update a sitemap. After going through this tab, click on Save Changes. Now, we're going to see all the sitemaps you can include in your website. Let's divide them into two types, content and taxonomies. Content sitemaps are for pages, posts, attachments, products, and, in the case of forums, the forum pages, topics, and replies. In all of these, there are two options. The first option, Include in Sitemap, creates a sitemap for that type of content. The second, Image Custom Fields, is useful when you're adding images using custom fields instead of inserting them into your content the traditional way. If you want those images to be indexed like any other in the page, add the name of that custom field. Before we move on, there's a specific characteristic in attachments we need to explain. You might know that attachment in WordPress is a post type created for the files added to pages and posts. When it comes to indexing pages, attachments are considered to have thin content because the only content in an attachment is the uploaded file. RankMath's default is to direct search engines from attachment URLs to the pages or posts instead of indexing them. So if you want to add the attachment pages to the sitemap, first you would need to deactivate redirect attachments in the general settings links tab. Then, return to Attachments and Sitemap Settings and activate it. However, we strongly recommend that you do not use this option, and that's why we left it off by default. If you ever come across a feature and don't know how to proceed, the best option is keeping it as Rank Math had left it in the first place. All right, moving on to the second type of sitemaps, the taxonomy ones. These apply to categories, tags, and any custom taxonomies you create with a third-party plugin. They also include topic tags in forums and product categories and tags in e-commerce stores. They will always have two settings. First, if you want to turn that taxonomy's archives into a sitemap. For instance, your category sitemap would be a list of links to the archives of each category. We do not recommend indexing the archive pages of categories and tags in most websites. When you take a look at an archive page, it doesn't bring information about one particular topic the way a post would. Instead, it has several pieces of different topics. So while they're very useful for visitors to browse through, they don't provide any real value to search engines. It might be useful to index news archives for websites that publish tens of different articles a day, or product category archives, since those pages gather different products and variations, which helps search engines and their users to better categorize the search results. If that's active, a second setting appears, the possibility to add even the ones that don't have any posts in them, which are called empty. This option should not be active, as empty categories don't present any useful content to be indexed. Only activate this if you know what you're doing. Now let's cover the special sitemaps that you can have with Rank Math Pro. First, the local sitemap option appears when the local SEO module is active. It allows you to add a KML file with all the information about your business locations to the sitemap. A KML file has that name because it was written in Keyhole Markup Language, which is used by Google in the Maps application and others. Rank Math Pro users can add keyhole markup language for a local business or multiple locations. It's also possible to add it with code. To add keyhole markup language for your local business, scroll down the page to the field Geocoordinates. If you don't know what your business location's geocoordinates are, try to find the spot in Google Maps and right-click on your mouse. A list of options will appear, beginning with the coordinates. Click on them to copy, then paste them in the field. In your sitemap index XML file, there should be a new link, local sitemap, where the KML file will be located. Keep in mind that if you enter incorrect geocoordinates, the KML file that was created will be blank. Now we'll add multiple locations to the KML file in two stages, one in Rank Maths Titles and Meta, and another in Individual Location Custom Posts. First, in the Local SEO tab of Rank Maths Titles and Meta, activate the option Use Multiple Locations, so Rank Math can create the RM Locations Custom Post Type. This will switch some of the options available in the Local SEO settings. Instead of adding an address and opening hours, you will now define a format for that information, which you will fill out in each location custom post. You'll also be able to customize several labels, the URL base, and many other options that we recommend getting to know through the knowledge base article that we've linked to in the description. To define basic SEO meta tags, open the tab RM locations, also in the titles and meta section. However, you do not need to define a schema type because that's done in individual custom posts. So let's move on to the second stage and set up individual locations. Click on Add New. We recommend that you start by filling out the title. Then, access Rank Math's Meta box and go to the Schema tab to add a new schema type. The only option available will be Local Business. Once you select, the pop-up will change to the Schema Builder. 
There, you can fill out the information for each business location, including address and geo coordinates, and click on Save for this post. However, this only makes the address information available for search engines. Gutenberg users can add it to the page with Rank Math's local business block. The block can display all locations or one in particular. The first field, Type, allows you to display the address, opening hours, map, or store locator. The map and store locator options require a Google Maps API key, which can be free depending on the volume of traffic the website has. We left a link in the description if you need to get one. Depending on the type you choose, different settings will appear. If an error warning appears when you try to open your location's KML file, check whether any of the location custom posts is marked as draft or published as private instead of public. If you'd prefer to add a KML file in the sitemap with code, you can use a filter. Open your theme editor in the Appearance section of the WordPress dashboard. Be careful when making alterations in the theme editor, as this could break your website. Paste the code either in the function's PHP file or Rank Math PHP file. If you don't have a Rank Math file and would like to create one, the Knowledge Base article that we've linked to in the description explains how to do that. Don't forget to click on Update File after you've made the changes. Once you've added the different locations, you can check the KML file and you'll see each location. There are two ways to do that. Either type your address, slash locations.kml, or open the sitemap index in the general page of the sitemap settings. There should be a new link, local sitemap, where the KML file will be located. Now let's move on to the second special sitemap. The new sitemap takes the post types you selected and creates a new list to be crawled by the Google News Bot, which is specific for the Google News Feed. This means your content has a chance to appear on another type of result page and on Google Discover, which suggests articles in the home page of the Google app. To set up your sitemap, first you need to fill out the name of your organization exactly as it is on Google News. Then, select the post type you want the Google News Bot to crawl. Don't forget to save the changes. Last but not least is the video sitemap, which makes it easier for search engines to locate videos in your website so you can rank higher in video search results. This tab will only appear if the schema module, the sitemap module, and the video sitemap modules are enabled. With the three modules active, you can go to the Titles and Meta section, activate the option Auto Detect Video, and save the changes. All the content published from now on that has a video will have video schema added to it and will appear in the video sitemap. We'll show you how to add video schema retroactively in the status and tools part of this tutorial. Now let's see the sitemap options. You can hide the sitemap from normal visitors and display it only for bots. It's also possible to select the post types where you want Rank Math to detect the presence of videos so we can include them in the video sitemap. And if you add videos to your posts using custom fields, you can enter the custom fields names so Rank Math can look for videos and add them to the sitemap. Be sure that you add only one entry per line. Once you've created all the maps, check the index file in the general settings. In case you want to reset all the sitemap options, Return to the General Settings and click on Reset Options. You will need to confirm, as this is irreversible and you'll have to start all over again. If all is well, we can go to the last and most important step, submitting your sitemaps to search engines. Websites that already use the Google Search Console integration in Rank Math don't need this, because the plugin will submit the sitemap index file automatically. You can make that integration with the Plugins Analytics section. If you prefer to submit sitemap files manually to Google Search Console, you need to have verified your website. In the Search Console's dashboard, click on Sitemaps in the Index section of the sidebar. Enter your sitemap's URL and click on Submit. You don't need the full URL, just the section after the domain. To submit your sitemap to Bing, you also need to verify it. We'll go over this process when we cover Rank Math's General Settings Webmaster Tools tab. You can use the timestamps in the description to go to that part. Click on Sitemaps in the bar to the left, then click on the Submit Sitemap button on the top right corner. Paste the Sitemaps URL and click on Submit to confirm. The good news is that you only need to do this once if you've activated the Ping Search Engines option. After your sitemaps are submitted, any new content that you add to your website will be updated by Rank Math to the respective sitemaps automatically. Now we'll discuss the modules that work with other plugins. Beginning with the ACF module, which helps to analyze the content that's written in extra fields beside the text area that were created with the Advanced Custom Fields plugin. Then, the AMP module works with the Accelerated Mobile Pages plugin, which generates lighter versions of pages for mobile devices. Rank Math automatically adds the required meta tags in all the AMP pages. 
The BB Press module adds proper meta tags to all forum posts, categories, profiles, and more created with the BB Press plugin. The Buddy Press module does the same to your forum pages created with Buddy Press, a forum management plugin. Moving on to Google Web Stories. In case you haven't heard of them, they're a web based version of the popular story format, allowing creators to host and own their content. There's a WordPress plugin to create them for your website, and our module makes any story created with it SEO ready, with automatic support for schema and meta tags. Finally, the WooCommerce module optimizes WooCommerce pages for search engines by adding meta tags and product schema. If you want to optimize your store for search engines, check out the video on WooCommerce SEO that we left in the card. The second tab of Rank Math's dashboard, Help, has three sections. First, you can connect your website to your rankmath.com account to enjoy the benefits that we mentioned previously. The analytics dashboard, the site-wide SEO analysis, automatic keyword suggestions for your posts and pages, and five free credits in the exclusive Content AI feature. Then, in next steps, you'll find helpful links to upgrade to Rank Math Pro, a tutorial on how to import data from your previous SEO plugin, and a tutorial on how to improve the SEO score, which we will cover in detail later in this video. The last section, Product Support, has a link to our knowledge base under Online Documentation, a direct link to open a ticket with our support team, and a link to our affiliate program, in case you want to recommend Rank Math to friends. The Tab Setup Wizard will take you to the installer that we covered earlier in this video. The general settings consist of several tabs, which vary according to the modules that you've enabled in the dashboard. The first tab, Links, begins with the option Open External Links in New Tab that we've mentioned in the Setup Wizard. In the Advanced mode, it has six more options. Strip Category Base. Rank Math removes the word category from the category URLs, making them shorter. You should carefully consider before activating this option, because deactivating it could cause 404 errors. This only affects the aesthetics, and there is no research or evidence to show that removing the category from the URL helps your SEO in any way. However, it does make the URL shorter and more appealing. Next comes Redirect Attachments. Whenever you upload a file to the WordPress Media Library, WordPress creates a separate media attachment page with its own automatically generated URL that comprises only the media content. Most of the time, this page is not very useful, so you might want to redirect WordPress attachment pages to the original post or page that the file was attached to. If you activate it, a new option will appear. Redirect Orphan Attachments. This is media that doesn't belong to any pages. You can add a URL to redirect those attachments to. Let's talk about the next two options. Nofollow External Links automatically adds the nofollow attribute to URLs for other websites on all your posts. Nofollow Image File Links does the same for any images pulled from other websites. While we recommend that you enable the second, Nofollow Image File Links, our recommendation for the first is that you only enable this setting if a big part of the external links on your website are affiliate or sponsored links. If you have links that don't fall into that category, besides enabling nofollow external links, you could use the nofollow domains and exclusion fields that will appear when you enable the option. If you list certain domains for nofollow, only the links to those websites will have the attribute. If you add domains to the exclusion list, all the links to those websites will not have the attribute. Since this is dynamically applied when the content is displayed, the original content is not changed. Rank Math Pro users will see an additional option, Affiliate Link Prefix. This adds Affiliate Link Manager functionalities, so you don't need to have a specific plugin for that anymore. When an affiliate link, which is external by definition because it takes visitors to another site, has an internal address, it's called a cloaked link. Since all links with your domain as prefixes are counted as internal links, automation tools skip these cloaked links thinking they're internal. In this setting, you can choose a URL base for your cloaked links, so Rank Math can automatically treat them as outgoing links. This means not only counting them as external links, but also adding the sponsored attribute to them. You can easily create cloaked links with the redirections module that we just covered. Moving on to breadcrumbs. There are links that show the path from a major page to minor ones, such as blog posts. Not only do they help search engines to crawl your website easily, they also improve user experience and reduce the bounce rate, especially for e-commerce stores. We recommend checking if your theme is compatible with Rank Math at rankmath.com compatibility before enabling breadcrumbs. If it's not, you should have a backup of your site before setting this up. When a theme is compatible, the changes might appear immediately on the front end. If the breadcrumbs don't appear on the pages, 
you have to add your breadcrumbs code to the template files or use short codes in specific pages. The knowledge base article that we've linked to in the description shows how to do that. Even if your theme comes with a full breadcrumbs functionality, we recommend using Rank Math's breadcrumbs because our breadcrumbs support schema and not all theme breadcrumbs were built with high quality code. When you set up the functionality, the site's breadcrumbs will follow Rank Math's code but keep the theme's design. The tab to configure breadcrumbs will only appear in the advanced mode. In it, you can customize the character that separates the links, include a link to a starter page, like the home page, add a non clickable prefix, set the standard for archives and 404 pages, and define what to include or not, the post's title, category, or any other taxonomies used. The last option is to include a link to the blog page and the breadcrumbs that will appear in posts. In the next tab, you can enter verification codes for third-party webmaster tools, including Google Search Console, Bing, Baidu, and Pinterest. The verification process for almost all webmaster tools follows the same overall principles. You tell a search engine about a property and claim to own it. Then, they generate a piece of code for you to place on your website. Once you've added the code, you need to return and confirm the verification. Your property is verified and will stay that way for as long as the code is present. The Edit Robots TXT tab regards the file located at the root of your web server that directs search engines on what they should or should not crawl. Here's the basic functioning of a robots TXT file. First, you name user agents, which are the bots you want to obey that order. You can name them specifically, like Googlebot or Bingbot, or you can use asterisks in case you don't want any bots to crawl through a page or folder. Then, you can use allow and disallow commands for directories or files. Most of the time, you'll use disallow since the standard behavior for bots is to crawl through the files. Allow is useful when you don't want any files in a directory to be crawled, but wish for files inside a subdirectory, which means a folder in that folder, to be crawled. The standard for WordPress websites is to disallow the WP admin directory. You can find the full syntax of robots.txt files by clicking on the link in the description. When you're done, click on Save Changes at the bottom of the screen. Just be careful while making any major or even minor changes to your websites via robots.txt. While these changes can improve your search traffic, if you're not careful, they can do more harm than good. You can check if your changes are in effect in Google Search Console's robots.txt file tester. If you use the new Search Console, click on Learn More in the Legacy Tools section. There's also a link for it in the video's description. If they aren't, you should check if there is already a robots.txt file in your website's root folder. You can use an FTP client for that. If there is a file, you'll need to delete it for the file created with Rank Math to work. Moving on to the Others tab, we start with headless CMS support, meant for websites that use WordPress's backend functionalities to create and store the content, combined with another technology to display the site in the front end. Keep in mind that this is intended for developers and users who are familiar with handling headless websites. Don't activate it unless you're sure of what you're doing. Rank Math offers a REST API endpoint to support headless CMS. To start using it, enable this option and save the changes. Now you'll be able to send a GET request to our REST API endpoint for a specific URL, and the API will return the meta tags added by Rank Math for that URL. Use the GET head REST endpoint, followed by the URL of the web page. You can add your posts, categories, user pages, or any internal URL, and even invalid URLs like 404s or other errors. The data will be returned in a JSON format that contains a confirmation whether the retrieval was successful and the HTML tags added by Rank Math. If you're unable to access Rank Math's REST endpoint, it is possible that your website uses a security plugin that blocks your access. You'll need to whitelist our REST API endpoint in your firewall. WordPress and Cloudflare users can check out the dedicated tutorials to whitelist Rank Math's REST API endpoints with the link in the description. Now let's talk about two error messages that could appear. First, invalid parameters means that the URL that was added is incomplete or empty. One possible cause is that a slug was submitted instead of a full URL. Second, missing parameter happens when the entire URL parameter is not included in the request. In the second option, you can define if you want to show Rank Math's SEO score to visitors in pages and posts. Once you activate the option, others will appear for you to fully customize the SEO score badge. In SEO score post types, you can decide if the SEO score will appear on pages, posts, media, or any custom post types. SEO score template defines if the badge will be a circle or a square. 
A CO score position allows you to display the badges automatically before and or after the content, or even insert it as a short code in your posts and a template tag in your theme template files. Last but not least, support us with a link adds a backlink pointing to rankmath.com to show your support and add credibility to the score. This link is marked as no followed by default, and Rank Math business and agency users can change it to any website to let the visitors know which company handles the content's SEO. Just add a filter to the Themes Functions PHP file. You can copy the code from the Knowledge Base article that we've linked in the description. To hide the SEO score on specific pages, open them in the editor and go to the Advanced tab of Rank Math's Metabox. If the global option is active, you'll find the Show SEO score on front end option on the bottom. Then, you can add text before and after the content in your website's RSS feeds, and also remove media from the content in the RSS feed. The last section isn't configurable, just lists all the variables that you can use in the RSS before and RSS after content options. If you have installed WooCommerce, you'll find a specific tab for the SEO settings related to it. Of the nine settings, the first five will only appear in advanced mode, beginning with three that remove parts from the URL, the standard shop term that is in all of the pages in your store, the products category, or parent category when it's in a subcategory. The next two, Remove Generator Tag and Remove Schema Markup and Shop Archives are active by default because WooCommerce includes plenty of meta information in the source code that can be useful for diagnostic purposes, but also presents a security risk. Moving on to the settings that you'd see even in easy mode. Select Brand is where you define which taxonomy will mean the product's brand, both in the schema.org and Open Graph Markup. Rank Math Pro users can choose Custom and define a standard brand name. The next three options are also for Rank Math Pro. The first two are related to global identifiers. You can select your unique product identifiers, define if they'll appear in pages, and customize their label. The third option, no index hidden products, will tell search engines not to add product pages to their index if the WooCommerce catalog is set to hidden. Moving on to edit HT access. The HT access file is a configuration file that helps users and search engines navigate your website. Inside that section, you will find a single text area. You will only be able to make alterations after checking the checkbox to confirm that you understand that making mistakes here could break your website. We've covered the Image SEO, 404 Monitor, Redirections, and Analytics tabs previously when we presented these modules in Rank Math's dashboard. Use the timestamps in this video's description to learn all about them. At the end of each tab, you'll find a Reset Options button, which applies to all of the general settings. We recommend having a backup of the settings before resetting them. To download your backup, go to Rank Math Status and Tools. Open the last tab, import and export, and the first section will be Plugin Settings. You can select only General Settings, which will include all of the tabs we just covered. Since resetting the options is a big step, Rank Math will ask for confirmation before it resets your settings. Click OK on the confirmation dialog box that appears on the screen. The page will refresh, and in a few seconds, your settings will be reset. There's no confirmation message on the screen, so take the page refresh as your cue. With the general settings covered, let's talk about the Titles and Meta section, where you will define the default settings that will be used for on-page SEO in posts, pages, and custom post types. You can override everything you've set up here when you create new posts or pages in Rank Math's Meta box. The Meta box will be covered in the next portion of the video about on-page SEO. The Global Meta tab applies to the entire website, to customize the titles and meta settings for some of the content types or taxonomies, you need to configure their specific tabs. This tab starts with the settings for robots meta, which consist of tabs that have been around for a long time and suggest to search engines if they should follow their standard behavior on your website. Keep in mind that most of the search bots will follow these suggestions, however, malicious bots might not. Rank Math supports six of the most important robots meta tags. The first two, index and no index, tell the search engine if it should add that page to its index. Since both of them can't be active at the same time, once you select one, the other will be disabled automatically. The third tag, no follow, is related to crawling, which means using links to go from one website to another. It tells bots that none of the links on that page should be followed, which means they should ignore the links and not establish any relationship between your website and their destinations. If you do not want some of the links on the page to be followed, you can add that attribute to specific links instead of the whole page. No archive should be used if you don't want Google to store a cached version of the page. 
you can see if Google has a page in cache using Rank Math's Quick Actions menu and request a recrawl if you've made any major changes. Though it might take a while for Google to update the cached version or to remove your page from the archive if you enable this option. No image index, as the name says, prevents all images in that page from being indexed. This means they won't appear in image search results, which could be used to preserve your crawl budget, prevent plagiarism and theft, or if you want users to only consume content from your website. The last option, No Snippet, allows you to restrict search engines from showing snippets from your posts. For most search engines, snippets just mean your meta description, the little piece of text that appears below the URL on the ranking result. It's commonly used by sites that make revenue through ads, such as news outlets or coupon affiliate websites. The second part, Advanced Robots Meta, has three options to help you manage your website search snippets. Here, Snippets lets you define the maximum characters you're willing to let Google use for a snippet from your page. The default option is set to minus one, which means that search engines can use as much text from the page as they want to. If you prefer to add a limit, just change the number. The Max Video Preview Advanced Robots Meta tag lets you configure the maximum duration in seconds that a video preview should have. This applies not only to videos from your own server, but also embedded videos from websites such as YouTube. Finally, Max Image Preview lets you configure what size of images Google should use from the page, large, standard, or if they shouldn't use any images at all. The two sections are followed by the option No Index Empty Category and Tag Archives, which we covered in the Setup Wizard. This applies to archive pages of categories and tags that have no posts in them. Then, you can define the default separator character that will be used in the title of your posts. The demo title right below the field will update as you click on different options to help you select the one that looks best. You can also set a custom separator character by entering it in the last field. If your theme does not support title tag, you will find an extra option called Rewrite Titles. This is more likely to appear in themes launched before WordPress 4.1, when they started allowing themes to add title tags to the page's head tag. Prior to that, themes had to add the tags on their own, which could result in compatibility issues. So to make sure that the page's title can be used to make the SEO title without errors, Rank Math will forcefully add a title to the head tag in the page's source code. Moving on to capitalized titles, this option automatically turns the first letter of every word from a title to a capital letter. The last options are related to social media. The first, which we covered in the setup wizard, is setting a standard thumbnail for when your post is shared on social networks that use the Open Graph protocol, such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and LinkedIn. Then you can define what type of Twitter card will be used automatically when posts are shared there. Summary card with large image has a headline below the image, similar to Facebook, while the summary card features a small thumbnail placed to the left of the title and description. Rank Math Pro users will have two more options. First, adding custom image watermarks for when the post is shared on social media. You can add as many as you need, since each watermark has a default location on the thumbnail. These will all appear as options in the Social tab of Rank Math's Meta Box, so we recommend naming them accordingly to make it easier when you're selecting one in a post. Right after that comes the default thumbnail watermark setting. Here, you can select among the custom thumbnails you uploaded, a play icon or a GIF icon to apply to all the thumbnails. The last two can be quite useful to increase your click-through rate on Facebook, if used correctly. Visitors might click on the image to make it play and will be redirected to your post. Make sure to have the video or GIF at the beginning of the page rather than at the end, so your visitors don't leave the page immediately. Facebook is hard on pages that give people an unsatisfactory experience and reduces their reach frequently, so this feature should never be used as a simple clickbait trick. The local SEO tab is where you set up everything related to that module, so we've covered these settings when we introduced it earlier. Use the timestamps in the description if you'd like an overview of these features. The social media section is where you can add a link to your Facebook page, which will be added to your pages as metadata for Open Graph. There are options to enter the username for your Twitter profile and URLs of your Facebook profile or page, so they're used in the authorship tags located in the page's header. In the Facebook admin field, you can enter the numeric user ID for your Facebook profile or page. This is a unique identifier that pulls public information from your page or profile, for example, the posts on a timeline. The link right below the field takes you to a site where you can find your Facebook ID by entering the page's URL. If you have a Facebook app, there is one field for the app ID and another for the secret key. Rank Math uses the app ID and secret key to ping Facebook whenever you update social media metadata on a post. If you only fill out the app ID, the plugin will not do this automatically and the information will be subject to when the social media's cache expires, which can take up to 30 days. 
the Homepage tab is used when the website's homepage displays the latest posts. If your homepage is a static page, you'll just see a warning. It starts with settings for a title and meta description, which will be submitted to search engines to appear in search result pages. Then you'll find the robot's meta tags that we covered in detail in the global tab of the Titles and Meta section. You can also set a title, description, and thumbnail for when that page is shared on social networks that use the Open Graph protocol, like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and LinkedIn. The Authors tab will display options once you enable author archives. For single author blogs, there is no need to keep author archives enabled. This will only lead to duplicate content because the author archives will be the same as the blog role. If you're planning to add new authors later, you can keep author archives enabled, but no index them to avoid the same content being indexed more than once. Note that if you disable the author archives, they will remain on your website, but will be redirected to the homepage. The first option is to add a term as base in the URLs of author archive pages. You will also be able to customize the robots meta and advanced robots meta tags for author archives, as well as set the default variables for title and description. Finally, there's an option to add an SEO meta box for user profile pages. Next comes the miscellaneous pages tab. It starts with the option to enable data archives. Since this type of archives are only useful in certain situations, they should be disabled on most websites. Just as with author archives, when you disable date archives, they don't disappear from your website. They are redirected to your homepage instead. If you do decide to activate them, you can customize the meta title and description, robots meta tags, and advanced robots meta tags. It's possible to set a title for the 404 error page and the search results. There are also options to add the noindex meta tag to search results within the website, paginated pages, archive subpages, and pages protected with passwords. Let's understand the difference between archive and paginated pages. Archive pages are lists of posts or custom post types, like products, that belong to the same category or have the same tag. On the other hand, paginated pages are created when an author splits large posts and pages into multiple pages. All subpages in a post from the second page forth are called paginated pages. Webmasters thought that splitting content into several pages provided better user experience, but nowadays, more users expect all the content on the same page. As a result, Google has stopped supporting split pages. If your website has content, like a blog post, split into multiple pages, we recommend merging them into a single page. We've covered all types of pages that are generated automatically by WordPress, and now it's time to cover the ones related to the content you'll create. These settings apply to the three post types that come in WordPress, which are pages, posts, and attachments, those pages created automatically for each media file added to the site. RM locations, a premium feature in Rank Math Pro. Forums, topics, and replies created with the BBPress plugin. Groups created with the BuddyPress plugin. Downloads pages created with the Easy Digital Downloads plugin. And any custom post types that you create with third-party plugins, such as custom post type UI. Keep in mind that everything you add here will be applied to all posts or pages from then on. Previous content will not be changed. The first settings are SEO title and description, where you can select the variables that Rank Math will use to make the title and description that you prefer in search results. By default, the fields will come with the post's title, the separator character you defined in the global tab, and the site's name for the title, while the description will be the excerpt. Then, custom post types will have an additional feature, the SEO title and description for the archive pages of that specific post type. When the schema module is active, the tabs for all post types will have the option Schema Type to set a default that can be changed in the Schema tab of Rank Math's Meta Box. It's better to leave a page without schema than to add the wrong type, so if you're not 100% sure, select None. If you're using Advanced Mode, under that option there will be new fields, like Headline and Description, which will depend on the type of schema you choose for that post type. Article Schema in particular will have an extra option where you can choose a type between Article, Blog Post, and News Article. The next two options are exclusive for Rank Math Pro users. You will find the first, Auto Detect Video, when you enable the Schema, Sitemap, and Video Sitemap modules. After you activate it, Rank Math will automatically detect any video in the posts you make from then on and generate video schema so they can be detected and added to the website's video sitemap. To add these videos to the video sitemap, you need to open the sitemap settings, select that post type, and save the changes. To add video schema to previous posts, go to Rank Math Status and Tools section and open the Database Tools tab. Scroll down the list of tools and you'll find the option Generate Video Schema for Old Posts and Pages. 
When you activate auto-detect video, another option will appear automatically, auto-generate image. This automatically generates an image for your auto-detected video and includes it in the video schema, which reflects on the video sitemap. Then you can select the default Robots Meta and Advanced Robots Meta tags that we covered in detail in the Global tab. Also, define if there will be suggestions for links to other posts in the Meta box and if those suggestions should come with the suggested post's title or keyword. And set which taxonomy will be the primary for posts and appear in breadcrumbs in case you use them. Custom post types have an extra option, defining a standard thumbnail for social networks that work with Open Graph, meaning Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and LinkedIn. This means the default would be different from the one you had defined in the global tab of the Titles and Meta settings, applying only to that custom post type. In Add SEO Controls, you decide if you want to add Rank Math's SEO Meta box to the editing page, so you can customize these settings individually. The next option, Bulk Editing, boosts the bulk editing options besides what WordPress already offered, like adding to the trash or changing categories and authors. If the Instant Indexing module is active, you'll find the option in the drop-down menu, Instant Indexing, Submit Pages. This submits the URLs of the selected pages to the IndexNow API, which is used by Bing, Yandex, and other search engines. All Rank Math users will find a pencil icon next to three columns, the SEO details, SEO title, and SEO description. The first column is called SEO details because it includes both keywords and link count, but only the keywords can be edited. If the columns don't appear, click on Screen Options at the top. Then, choose the columns you like and click on Apply. When you click on the pencil icon next to the column's name, the data will become editable. You can edit all the columns simultaneously, but be careful because clicking on Save All Edits or Cancel for one of them will apply to all three. Rank Math Pro users have more features, such as adding robots made attacks to several posts at once. With the drop-down menu on top, you can set individual tags, remove the custom canonical tags, redirect to one URL, remove redirections, and even set the schema to none or to the default for that post type. The bulk actions become even more powerful when you filter the posts with the options from the top of the screen. Not only the filters that come with WordPress for dates and categories, but especially Rank Math's filters. All Rank Math users can filter by the SEO score or only the posts without focus keywords or set as no index. Pro users have filters directly related to the options. Custom canonical URL, meta title and description, redirected posts, orphan posts, and finally, filtering by schema type. We have also added options to the bulk quick edit box that appears when you select more than one post and use the edit option in the drop-down menu. You can edit the SEO meta title and description template, as well as the robots meta tags for several posts. For individual posts, there are options to choose a primary focus keyword, update the canonical URL, and choose a primary category straight from that screen. Last but not least, you can define which custom fields would be analyzed with the main text for Rank Math's SEO score. Pro users have one extra option, choosing a default thumbnail watermark for that specific post type between the ones that had already been uploaded in the Global tab or Play and GIF icons. If you don't want to add a watermark, just set it as off. If the e-commerce plugin WooCommerce is activated on your website, Rank Math will automatically detect products as a post type and enable titles and meta settings for it. Just like in other post types, the options begin with fields to select variables so Rank Math can generate an SEO title and description automatically from your content. The next two options are the same, but for the title and description in their archive pages. The schema type option allows you to activate and deactivate the WooCommerce product schema that Rank Math generates automatically from the information added to the fields. If you try to open this in the schema tab of Rank Math's meta box, you won't find anything there. However, you will see it if you test the schema with Google's Rich Results testing tool. Pro users can check it straight on the code validation tool or click on Test with Google to go straight to the tool. Keep in mind that this option will only appear if you've activated the schema module. Rank Math Pro users will have the auto detect video and auto generate image settings if they've also activated the video sitemap module. This will detect video in future products to add video schema to it, so the post can appear in the website's video sitemap and generate an image from the video's thumbnail to use in the schema. Keep in mind that for the videos and product pages to appear in the video sitemap, you need to open the video sitemap settings and add the product's post type to it. All Rank Math users will find the robots meta and advanced robots meta tags that we covered in detail in the global tab, the option to activate suggestions for links to other products in the sidebar, 
and if those suggestions should come with the suggested product's title or keyword, settings for which taxonomy will be the primary for products and appear in breadcrumbs, in case you use them, the option to define a standard thumbnail for social networks that work with Open Graph, which includes Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and LinkedIn. This means the default would be different from what you had defined in the Global tab of the Titles in Meta settings, applying only to products. Deciding if you want to add Ring Maths SEO Meta Box to the editing page, so you can customize these settings individually in Add SEO Controls. It would be under the last box, which by standard would be Reviews, but you can change the order by dragging each box. The next option, Bulk Editing, adds bulk editing columns to the product's listing screen. For example, to add robots meta tags. We just covered this in detail when talking about the posts, titles, and meta settings, so you can skip to that part if you'd like to know more. Last but not least, you can define which custom fields would be analyzed with the product description for Rank Math's SEO score. Pro users have an extra option, choosing a default thumbnail watermark for products between the ones that had already been uploaded in the Global tab or play and GIF icons. If you don't wish to add a watermark, just set it as off. The titles and meta settings for categories, tags, and any custom taxonomies apply to their archive pages. They include a few of the settings we just saw for post types, such as SEO title, description, and robots meta tags, which include advanced robots meta. We've covered all of these tags in the global meta tab. Then comes add SEO controls. If you activate this, when you open a taxonomy to edit its details, you will find Rank Math's SEO Meta box in the bottom of the editing page, so you can customize the titles and meta settings individually. Remove snippet data lets you keep or remove schema data related to the archive pages. If they're set to no index, you can remove the schema data from your category pages as well, as they're not going to be indexed anyway. The last feature is exclusive for pro users. Choosing a default thumbnail watermark for that specific taxonomy between the ones that had already been uploaded in the Global tab or play and GIF icons. If you don't want to add a watermark, just set it as off. Now that you know Rank Math's features, we can work on SEO directly in posts and pages with Rank Math's Meta Box. Let's see how to access it in four page editors. In Gutenberg's sidebar, click on the Rank Math SEO icon for the page, or click on the three vertical dots in the top right corner of the editing page and select Rank Math in the plugin section. In Classic Editor, you'll need to scroll down a bit and you'll find the Meta Box right below the main content. In Elementor, you'll find the SEO tab at the top of Elementor's panel, next to Elements and Global. In Divi, click on the icon with Rank Math's logo at the bottom of the screen. When the panel opens, you'll find the General tab, which is the first of four. The first thing you need to do is add focus keywords, which are the terms that Google, Bing, or other search engines will use to find your content. You could fill out the focus keywords before or while you write a post, but we think it's easier to do it after the content is ready. Rank Math will look for the focus keywords in the text and media, like the search engines would, and let you know how to make it clear that your content is about that topic. The focus keyword field allows you to select up to five focus keywords per post in the free version, while Rank Math Pro users can add unlimited focus keywords. That way, you can attract a lot more traffic as compared to when you are optimizing for one focus keyword. The first focus keyword that you add will be considered the primary focus keyword and have a star icon on its left. The rest will be considered secondary focus keywords. The primary focus keyword is set apart from the others because each post should be optimized for a unique focus keyword. Optimizing two pages for the same focus keyword would make your content compete against itself for a good ranking. Our goal is to concentrate hits on one page so that it's more noticeable for search engines. Rank Math can also help you discover more keywords by pulling in automatic keyword suggestions from Google. As you start typing letters in the focus keyword field, Rank Math will show keyword suggestions. Click on one to add it to the focus keyword field. You can repeat this to add more focus keywords and optimize your content accordingly. To have this benefit, Rank Math free users need to connect their website to the rankmath.com account, as we've shown in the beginning of this video. The auto-suggest feature is available in both the free and pro versions of Rank Math. However, pro users can also reorder the keywords by dragging them in the box, so they don't have to delete all the keywords if they want to change the primary focus keyword. Another pro feature is our integration with the Google Trends tool. In the Meta box, click on the graph icon to see the search trends for keywords and compare them. You will no longer need to guess potential keywords. With the help of the built-in graph comparison tool, you can compare the most popular keyword opportunities visually. We bring you the data from Google Trends straight to your post editor, so you can research among the keywords that are popular enough to have data available with Google. You can filter the data for a specific country, 
and choose a date range between 7 days to 12 months. With the keyword in place, Rank Math can analyze your content in real time to give you two types of scores, one with the Content AI, another with the Content Analysis. Content AI analyzes your focus keyword with the data from existing search results to give you intelligent suggestions on how many words, headings, links, and media to use, what keywords can be used, and what links can be added. Then, our AI measures how well your content is optimized for the provided suggestions to rate them with the Content AI score. On the other hand, the Content Analysis measures how well your content is optimized for the basic SEO practices to give you the SEO score. Let's learn more about the Content AI score. You need to set up before using this feature. That tab of Rank Math's general settings has two options. First, a list with over 80 countries to guide the recommendations, so they can be as specific as possible. If you'd like to maintain worldwide, you can also do that. Second, in which post types the feature will be available. Now we can see it in the Page Editor, in the General tab of Rank Math's Meta Box. In the Classic Editor, it's in a separate box to the right. If you can't find the panel, open the Screen Options at the top of the page to make sure it's enabled. In the Block Editor, as well as in Elementor and Divi, you'll find a button right above the Focus Keyword field. Clicking on the button will open the options, but the analysis will only be performed once you click on Research. Before that, make sure the country is the one you want, because each analysis uses one credit. All of the data related to a keyword will be stored on your server, so when the same keyword is used again, the same data will appear without using a new credit. However, if you refresh it to get the latest recommendations, the new analysis will use an additional credit. You'll receive five free credits when you create a free Rank Math account to test out the feature. All Rank Math users can purchase additional credits for a very low price to keep that edge over the competition, even if you're using the plugin's free version. We left a link in the description where you can find the pricing plan that better fits your needs. We start with the recommendations on how many words to aim for, how many internal and external links to use, the number of H2, H3, and other levels that should be in the text, and how many images and videos to place in the content. Then comes a section with keyword suggestions for the content, headings, SEO title, and description. When you hover over each suggestion, you'll find data for the ad competition, which indicates how competitive the keyword is for advertising campaigns, as well as the CPC, which refers to how much each click for this keyword would cost in Google Ads, and the volume, which indicates how many people are searching for this keyword. To use these keywords, simply click on one, and it would be copied to your clipboard, so you can place it anywhere inside your content. Right below are related keywords you can also use. AI also suggests frequently asked questions that you can use as headings for sections of your text or the accordion block in Elementor and Divi. Gutenberg users can just click on the button to copy, then paste them automatically as a group with Rank Math's FAQ block, which is schema-ready to increase the chances of your content appearing as rich snippets in search results. The last tab has URL suggestions so you can include quality references in your text to increase the content's credibility. Rank Math Business and Agency users can assign how many credits can be used by each site from their account page in rankmath.com in the Websites tab. Each connected website will have a line called Content AI Credits with the amount and a link to set the limit. Now let's take a look at content analysis. Not all the tests will perform well if Rank Math considers all the focus keywords at the same time, so they're applied only to the main focus keyword. Others also apply to the secondary focus keywords and some to the content in general. We will signal which tests apply to what as we take a look at each section in the content analysis. Let's learn how to interpret the color codes that are next to each result. Some tests are binary and you can either pass or fail. If you see a solid green icon with a tick mark, you passed while a solid red mark with an X means you failed. Other tests can have partial results, and in them the icon won't be a solid color. In that case, a green tick will signal that you've gotten 50% or more correctly, a yellow icon indicates that you have between 30 and 50%, and a red icon means that you've only done up to 30% of what you could have done in that topic. With that in mind, let's take a look at the four sections in the content analysis. First, in basic SEO, you'll be tested on the foundational aspects of optimization. If you fail any of these tests, there is no possibility of having 100 as the SEO score. If you fully pass, your score should already be at least 50 out of 100. Some tests will only apply to the main focus keyword, like the first four. Rank Math will look for it in the SEO title, meta description, and URL. You can work on these three right here by clicking on Edit Snippet. A pop-up will open where you'll change the title and description. The title field will show the tags that were set as standard in Rank Math's Titles and Meta settings, 
and a downward arrow that opens a drop-down menu. You can select other variables for that specific post or page, or type whatever you prefer. The SEO meta description will follow the same standard from Titles and Meta, unless you add a custom description here. This is what Rank Math will suggest to search engines for the description of your page or post in the search engine result pages. When creating the SEO title, description, and URL, you should consider the character and pixel limit shown above the field. Its color changes as you approach the limit to signal that you're using as much space as possible to provide information about your post, and it will turn red if you go over the limit. It's also recommended to pay attention to the preview. Use the desktop and mobile buttons on the upper right corner of the panel to see if any information would be lost in a smaller screen. When you're done, just close the panel. If there is no custom SEO description for that post, Rank Math will look for the focus keyword in the variable set as the template in the Titles and Meta settings. When there is no template, Rank Math uses the default excerpt variable. If the post doesn't have an excerpt, Rank Math will look for the focus keyword in the first paragraph. It's important to note that the focus keyword in the URL test will not run if you're not using friendly URLs. Since there is no possibility of adding keywords to plain or numeric URLs, this test will be disabled. To check if you've enabled friendly URLs, head over to WordPress's settings and check your permalink settings, like we mentioned in the beginning of the SEO analysis section of this video. The fourth test that only applies to the main focus keyword searches for it in the beginning of your content. Then comes a test that can apply to all focus keywords, looking for them in your text. Click on the desired focus keyword to see if it's present or not. If it's not present, you failed a test. Last but not least, we check how long your content is, because many studies have shown that content length and higher rankings have a positive correlation. The minimum recommended content length should be 600 words, but your score will increase until you pass 2,500 words, which has a 100% score. We make an exception for product pages, since it's rare to see a product page with thousands of words of content. Moving on to the second section, additional SEO. These aspects don't have as big of an impact as the basic SEO tips, but are still measures that you can take to easily optimize your content. The first test applies to all the keywords, one at a time. To check if you passed the test for a secondary keyword, click on it. We'll look for that keyword in subheadings from H2 to H6. Including keywords in the headings helps in achieving site links in the results, which are links that appear below your search results and help the user quickly jump to a specific section of the article. The second test is strictly for the primary focus keyword. Rank Math looks for it in your image's alternative text, both in the singular and plural versions. The alternative text, also known as alt tag, helps search engine bots determine what an image is all about. They are also useful for visitors when the images on a page fail to load or for people using assistive devices to navigate the web. To add alternative text in the Gutenberg editor, click on an image. The settings bar on the right will change to block settings. The alt text area is in the first settings, so all you have to do is add it there and save your post. If you're using the classic editor, the steps are a little different. First, click on the image you'd like to see the alt text for. You should see a bunch of options appear on the image. Click on the pencil icon to open the image settings, add your desired alt text on the first field, and click on Update at the bottom. The third test, Keyword Density, applies to all of the keywords. Rank Math checks how many times your focus keywords and their combinations have been used in the post, and shows the ratio between the number of times the keyword appears in contrast with the text. While there is no perfect keyword density, a keyword density of 1 to 1.5% is sufficient in most cases. The most important thing is to keep your language natural, because if search engines don't pick up on the high keyword density, your users definitely will. The next test is URL length, including HTTP, your domain name, separator characters, and your post slug. Although short URLs are preferred, there is no exact number set in stone. After careful testing and considering plenty of real-world examples, Rank Math's good URL length has been set to less than or equal to 75 characters. Instead of trying to hit a certain length, we recommend that you ask yourself, can I shorten the URL and make it more precise at the same time? If the answer is yes, make it shorter. Let's discuss the next two tests, linking to external sources and linking to external content with a followed link. It's commonly known that having links from other websites pointing to your website is great for SEO. But you should know that having links from your posts to other websites can also contribute to ranking. Besides looking for external links in your content, Rank Math will also see if there are any links without the nofollow attribute. When search engines encounter nofollow, they don't establish a relationship between your website and the link's destination page. On the other hand, they interpret links with do follow as real contributions to your content that guide visitors on where to learn more about the subject. 
Rank Math also looks for internal links, which not only improve the SEO of your post, but also give your users a better experience. This includes links to other posts on your website, to other subdomains on your main domain, and to the main domain from a subdomain. Last but not least, we will check if the primary focus keyword is exclusive for that text. If you fail this test, Rank Math will not only notify you of the problem, but will also add a link that you'll be able to click on to see the other posts that use the same focus keyword. The third section, Title Readability, has four tests that apply to what will be in the snippet editor, so you can maintain the text's original title and make the changes there. We start by checking if the main focus keyword is in the first half of your SEO title, so it's very clear to visitors what your text is about. If you fail this test and decide to bring the keyword closer to the beginning, make sure to keep the language natural above anything else. It might not make sense to start your title with the focus keyword, which is why we count the first 50% of the title, and not just the first word. The other three tests are specific for terms that make the title more appealing to ultimately improve your click-through rate, commonly known as CTR. First, a word that evokes strong emotion, whether it's positive or negative. Second, a power word, such as new or best, that would set your content apart from other posts in that topic. You can learn more about power words in the blog article that we've linked to in the description. Third, we look for a number, since studies have shown that they're more likely to generate clicks. You could add the year that you're writing in to show that the content is recent, among many other uses, such as the number of tips the article will cover. The last section, Content Readability, has suggestions to make the visitors that found your content actually stay on the page. We'll start with the table of contents, which is crucial for the SEO of long content. It allows your visitors to save time by skipping to the information they want, and it gives search engines an overview of what that post or page is about. There's no specific method to look for the HTML code of a table of contents section, so the plugin cannot search for the presence of a table of contents just by looking at the code. Instead, we look for the presence of popular table of contents options or plugins. Any plugin can add a compatibility code to be detected without problems, but here's a list of the ones we've already tested. WP Shortcode Pro, available in my theme shop, or in the free version, which you can install directly from the repository. TOC Pack, which creates a table of contents in Elementor. Ultimate Blocks, a free collection of blocks for the Gutenberg editor. Lucky WP Table of Contents, also available in the WordPress plugin repository. Last but not least, Elementor Pro. If you wish to continue using the plugin that is already in your website, you need to add a piece of code in your theme's functions PHP file. You can copy it from the article that we left in the description. We recommend adding this to a child theme, so that whenever your theme developer releases updates to your main theme, changes are not overwritten. Or you can use the Code Snippets plugin, which makes adding custom code extremely easy. Then, Rank Math counts the words in each paragraph to see if they're too long. The text fails a test if one or more paragraphs have more than 120 words. Finally, we will look for images or videos in your page, since they make your content more engaging. Adding a single image will help you pass the test, but to get a 100% score in this test, you have to add at least four images or videos to your post. We couldn't finish on-page optimization without mentioning the Pillar Content checkbox. Pillar Content is the type of evergreen content that you want to rank over time. Consequently, there are longer and more thorough tests. If you signal that a post or page is Pillar Content, Rank Math will show it in link suggestions for other posts in that category. The other three tabs of Rank Math's Metabox go beyond the general SEO settings. Let's start with the Advanced tab, which will only be there if you're using Rank Math in Advanced mode. This tells search engines how to behave once they find the content. Its first two sections, Robots Meta and Advanced Robots Meta, are for when you want this post or page to use tags different from the ones that had been determined in the Global Meta section of Rank Math's Titles and Meta settings. Rank Math Pro users who have enabled the new sitemap module and added this post type to the new sitemap settings will find another setting, Googlebot News Index. Selecting Index will add the post to the new sitemap, while No Index will exclude it. These options only control what the Google News Bot sees and adds to the Google News Feed. It's not related to the search results. Moving on to the third section, Canonical URL. Here is where you'll define which URL search engines should index for that content in case the same page can be reached from multiple URLs. For example, a post can have a simple slug with just its name, a tag, or a category, and so on. The canonical tag stops search engines from indexing duplicate content, which would make the post compete against itself for ranking. Then comes an option that is only available if you have enabled breadcrumbs in Rank Math's general settings, in the Breadcrumbs tab. 
you can change how the name of that page appears in the breadcrumbs by adding your custom title in this field. The redirect option makes that page's permalink redirect visitors to another page. It is disabled by default. If you activate it, two fields will appear. First, the redirection type. Second, the URL for the new destination page. The destination URL is available only for redirect types and not for maintenance codes like 410 and 451. We went over all redirection types when we covered this feature in the module section of the tutorial. Use the timestamps in the description to go back to that part. The last option, Show SEO Score on Front End, shows the SEO score that Rank Math gives to that page or post based on the options configured in the meta box. This will also appear only if you've enabled it in Rank Math's general settings in the Others tab. You can use the timestamps in the description to see how to customize the SEO score that will be on the pages and posts. Now on to the third tab where you'll configure the schema markup. Schema is a way to organize your page's data that helps search engines understand what your content is about. When you mark up a page using the structured data, search engines can create rich snippets. There are highlights in your content that will appear directly on search results. For instance, a frequently asked questions box. This tab will only appear if Rank Math's schema module is active. By default, you'll see the schema markup selected in Rank Math's titles and meta. Pages and posts will have the option schema type in their respective tabs. If your website has custom post types, they'll have tabs of their own. Rank Math automatically detects if you install WooCommerce or similar plugins and also adds the appropriate schema to your product pages. Different fields will appear depending on the type of schema you choose for that post type. You can set up the variables that will serve as default in the meta box. Now, let's customize that markup in the editor. To delete the one that was already there, click on the trash can icon next to the schema type. You can switch types by clicking on the paper and pencil icon. Rank Math free users can also click on schema generator to change the type. Pro users will have multiple schema types for the same article, so every time they click on it, a new type will be added. We have an article explaining all the types of schema, including the ones only available for Rank Math Pro. It's in the description. Once you select a type, the panel will show those fields that you set up in the Titles and Meta tab, plus others to customize for that particular post. Besides having more than one schema type for the same page or article, Rank Math Pro users will have access to four other features. First, importing schema. To import from a live web page, you just have to add the URL and click on Import. You can also add code, both in HTML or JSON-LD, by pasting and clicking on Process. Rank Math will analyze the code and generate the schema. This allows you to go beyond the schema types that already came in Rank Math, because there are hundreds of types and adding all of them to the plugin wouldn't be manageable. The second pro feature is creating custom schema, which can be saved as a template and used on multiple pages. The schema builder will open with a blank slate, so you will need to add the properties and property groups. You can check out all the properties related to each schema type on schema.org. If you save it as a template, you should open the schema options in the admin area and define the display conditions. We covered that in the schema module part of this tutorial. Use the timestamps in the description to go back to that part. To use it in a post, click on Schema Generator and select the Your Templates option. The third feature, the Advanced Schema Editor, allows you to add properties and property groups, just like the Custom Schema Builder. However, it already starts with the properties from the schema type that's being adapted. Once you switch to the Advanced Editor, you'll not be able to go back to the Simple Editor. Since Rank Math Pro supports more than one schema type per post, you could also add another schema type. The last feature in the Schema Editor is the Code Validation tool, where you can see the actual JSON-LD code for the schema on the page. Now, we'll cover a specific post type, the locations. Rank Math creates it when you activate multiple locations in the Local SEO tab of the Titles and Meta section. In the Page Editor, there will be an exclusive schema type, Local Business. Once you click on it, the pop-up will change to the Schema Builder. There, you need to fill out the information for each business location, including address and geo-coordinates, and click on Save for this post. However, this only makes the address information available for search engines. Gutenberg users can add it to the page with Rank Math's Local Business block, which has options to display all locations or one in particular. The first field, Type, allows you to display the address, opening hours, map, or store locator. The map and store locator options require a Google Maps API key, which can be free depending on the volume of traffic the website has. We left a link in the description in case you need to get one. Depending on the type you choose, different settings will appear. If you're using the classic editor or a page builder, such as Elementor, 
Using the location data shortcode is the easiest way to add this to your posts and pages. Go to Rank Math's Meta box and open the Schema tab. Click on the editing icon to open the Schema Builder. You'll find the shortcodes there. Select it, copy, then paste it onto the page and save the draft or update the post to see it in the front end. The Social tab helps you add Open Graph Metadata, which is a protocol created by Facebook that formats your content to be shared on social networks, both in profiles or through direct messages. Currently, what you set in the Facebook options applies to all the networks that use Open Graph, including Instagram, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, etc. The options start with adding a custom image for the thumbnail, different from the post's featured image. You can also set a custom title and description by typing or selecting variables. Pro users have the option to select among the different custom thumbnails set in the post's titles and meta. We also have a separate tab for Twitter, since it requires different tags than most of the other social networks. It starts with the option Use Data from Facebook tab, which is enabled by default to save you time. When you deactivate this, you'll see the options to add image, title, description, and icon overlay. There's an extra option for Twitter, card type. Here are all the card types. First, summary card with large image has a headline below the image, similar to Facebook, while the summary card features a small thumbnail placed to the left of the title and description. The app card is specifically designed for mobile apps with several fields to customize, depending on the device used to access the tweet. Finally, the player card is for when you want to embed videos on Twitter. This one also requires some setup, and you need approval from Twitter to use this card type. You will find details about all of these fields in the Knowledge Base article that is linked in the description. Time to cover Rank Math's Status and Tools section. This probably won't be used day to day, like Rank Math's other features, but it does have useful options for more technical purposes. If the System Status tab is the only one visible, click on Advanced Mode in the upper right corner. The first tab is Version Control. It starts with a list of the latest versions you can roll back to in case there is some compatibility issue in your website after updating Rank Math or another plugin or theme. If you need to roll back, make sure that you have backups of your website, as you should always have when making important changes. You'll start by opening the drop down with the list of previous versions of Rank Math you can roll back to. Select one, click on Install Version, and confirm. Once the process is complete, the screen should look similar to this. In case you roll back and wish to return to the version you were using earlier, just use the same rollback utility. Keep in mind that when you roll back to a previous version, we will disable the automatic updates, even if the Auto Update plugin option at the bottom of the version control page is enabled. To re-enable automatic updates, you have to head over to your installed plugins page inside the WordPress admin and update the plugin from there. Once you've manually updated to the latest release, auto updates will return. Then you'll find the option to use Rank Math's beta version, which we recommend that you only use on testing environments, and enable automatic updates. If you prefer to update plugins manually, you can enable the option of receiving notifications of new versions via email. The second tab, Database Tools, is for when you want to reset one or more of Rank Math settings. Most of Rank Math's features have a reset option setting. This deletes data, but Rank Math will still preserve some internal data for logging and diagnosis. The database tools allow you to erase data from a few of the features completely, which is useful when you've made big changes, especially if you have custom coded some functionality. They are designed to give you extra control over Rank Math's data and a clean slate to start with. Since these options are irreversible, we recommend that you carefully consider before clicking on any of them so you don't lose valuable data that you can need later. You can also back up your data in the Import and Export tab with the Settings Backup option before making these alterations. The first option, Flush SEO Analysis Data, is related to the SEO analysis feature that we've covered earlier. To keep track of your SEO improvements, some of your historical data is stored by Rank Math. To delete the data, simply click on the Clear SEO Analysis button. If you're unable to see this option, check if you've enabled the SEO Analysis module of Rank Math. To understand the Remove Rank Math Transients option, you have to understand what transients are first. They are a data storage option inside WordPress used to cache information that takes a lot of time to retrieve. Rank Math uses the WordPress Transient API to fetch a lot of information about your website without increasing the load on your server for SEO analysis, redirections, 404, and other features. With every transient record, there is also a record of when that transient should expire, making its storage efficient. 
But there are some rare scenarios, for example, when your entire website's architecture or content changes, where the number of transients can become too large. Most of the time, WordPress and Rank Math can work around this problem. But if you have issues, you can use this option to clear all the transients created by Rank Math. Keep in mind that after you clear your transients, your website's admin area might work sluggishly for some time, while the transient cache is rebuilt from scratch. Next, Purge Analytics Cache works when the analytics feature in Rank Math is not working correctly, getting too large for your website, or showing wrong data. This will only be shown if you've enabled the analytics module on your website. The option Rebuild Index for Analytics should be used if you're missing some posts and pages in the analytics data, or if the numbers are not correct, to get more accurate data from your Google Analytics account. The Clear 404 Monitor Log option deletes all 404 errors that have been registered at once. There are very few occasions when this would be useful. For example, if you update your website and accidentally introduce changes that break your URLs, which in turn can cause thousands or even millions of 404 errors, depending on your website and the traffic it gets. The database tools aren't all about deleting. With Recreate Missing Database Tables, Rank Math would do just that, automatically create any missing database tables used by the plugin in case you accidentally deleted them. Another option that creates data is Generate Video Schema for Old Posts and Pages, a Rank Math Pro feature. This complements the Auto Detect Video feature that appears in posts, titles, and meta settings when both the schema and video sitemap modules are enabled. That option detects videos to generate the video schema and add them to the video sitemap but only for the pages that are published from then on. With this option, you can do the same with posts that were already published. If you've migrated from Yoast SEO to Rank Math, but didn't include the Gutenberg blocks for FAQ and How-To schema, you can migrate them with the Yoast Block Converter tool. After importing, we recommend opening a page or post in the editor and checking if the blocks have changed to Rank Math's FAQ and How-To. Moving on to delete internal links data. If you've enabled the link counter module in Rank Math, the plugin has been keeping track of the internal links each post makes and receives to suggest the most appropriate internal links and calculate your SEO score. As expected, Rank Math caches a lot of this information to prevent additional load on your server. But if you make major changes to your website's architecture, you might find it efficient to clear this cache using this option. Keep in mind that even though the button next to the option says delete internal links, this option will not delete your internal links. It will only delete the metadata about the internal links that Rank Math has captured. Next, delete redirection rules. We've already covered the redirections module in the tutorial, including how to delete individual redirection rules. However, if you change the entire structure of your website, it would be wise to clear all the redirects from your website, including the metadata. Keep in mind that if and when you see this option, all the redirects that you've created, along with their metadata, will be deleted permanently. This behavior is different from all the other options that we discussed, as it deletes the actual data, not just the metadata. Proceed with caution. Last but not least, delete old schema data. This will only appear if Rank Math was installed on your website before version 1.0.48. More recent installations will not have this old schema data. When Google started using structured data in searches, pages usually had just one type of schema. Nowadays, it's fairly common for a single page to have two, three, or even more schema types. So, to understand what is the main function of a page, Google started supporting nested schema to create a hierarchy of schema on the page. Even though Google is currently fine with any schema implementation, Rank Math started to automatically transition websites to nested schema types so that creators wouldn't have to go through any trouble. But with millions of variables, some websites might experience issues with schema on the old pages and may need to remove the old schema data. Keep in mind that this feature is an irreversible process, and the metadata prefixed with Rank Math Snippet will be completely removed, so only use it if you're facing issues or when instructed by our support staff. The System Status section is just for reference. It's useful for developers, or in case Rank Math doesn't behave as expected on your website. If you contact our support team, we might request information from this screen to diagnose and fix issues. This page is divided into two parts. The first, System Info, groups information about multiple sections of your website besides Rank Math. The WordPress installation, theme, active plugins, server, database, and two very technical aspects, WordPress constants and file system permissions. You can copy that information to send to our team by clicking on the button right below the title. The error log section will include a log with errors generated by Rank Math in the reverse order, limited to the last 100 lines. 
This is useful for the Rank Math support team to look into when you're experiencing a technical glitch with Rank Math on your website. To copy the log, click on the button right before the text box. In the fourth tab of Status and Tools, Import and Export, all Rank Math users will see three sections. The first, Plugin Settings, allows you to bring Rank Math settings from other websites or export them to use in other sites. The second, Other Plugins, will show you options to import data from SEO plugins such as Yoast or All-in-One SEO. In case you didn't import settings in the beginning of the setup wizard, you can use this option. Rank Math will automatically detect the data from the previous plugin and show several options in case you only want to import specific settings. This includes features from Yoast Premium, such as redirections and also specific SEO settings like local news and video. Once the migrating process is over, you can delete the old data with the Clean option so it doesn't occupy space in your server. First, make sure that everything was correctly imported, for instance, by opening pages and posts and looking for the snippets, keywords and schema, or going to the redirections and 404 monitor sections. The third, Settings Backup, creates a copy of your current settings for Rank Math that you can restore in case you make severe changes in how you use the plugin and want to return to how things were. Once you've created a backup, a log will be there with the options to restore it or delete it. Pro users have access to a fourth feature, CSV file. This lets you export SEO metadata for posts, terms, and users to a file format that you can edit from any spreadsheet software. You can use the basic filter for posts, taxonomies, or users, but there are advanced options to refine your selection. With them, you can export specific types and taxonomies, or select users based on their roles. Under the list of options, you'll find Include Read-Only Columns, which are the page or post's SEO score and link counts. These are statistics generated by Rank Math, so any alteration in them won't be overwritten. You can select this option to copy the data and use in reports, for instance, but we won't use them in this tutorial. Download the CSV file and open it in your software of choice. We're using Google Sheets because it has the benefits of being able to work in a team and have a single central document with multiple people who can edit all at once. In this case, upload the file to your Google Drive and click on Open with Google Sheets. To make the spreadsheet easier to work with, we recommend freezing the first row and even styling it according to your preferences. Once all the changes have been made, download the spreadsheet from Google Sheets as a CSV file. Go back to the Import and Export tab of Rank Math Status and Tools. You can drag and drop the file in the Import tab of the CSV file section or use the Browse button. Right below, you'll find the Do Not Override Existing Data checkbox. You should leave it active in case you only intended to edit empty fields. That way, you won't accidentally overwrite the data that was already correct. If you edited fields that already had content on purpose, disable the option. The final step is pressing Import. This concludes our tutorial. Your website now has Rank Math up and running, and you've set it up to fit your specific needs. We encourage you to take a deep dive on the analytics dashboard and start optimizing your top posts and pages. Don't forget to run the SEO analysis regularly to make sure you're on top of your SEO game. And whenever you feel the need to change any of the settings, you can always come back and watch that part with the help of the timestamps in the description of this video, or browse through our knowledge base. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. You can do that by clicking on the link in this video's description to open a free support ticket. We'll be happy to help.